This high school sports presentation is sponsored by Kerner Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, providing personalized chiropractic care so you can live your life. Find us in the Northridge Plaza Hayes. Thomas More Prep Marion. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Service Master Clean of Hayes. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today, 628-6712. Lifetime Dental Care. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family, health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Bernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. Mary Ann, Bonnie, and the staff at Bernie's Hamburger House is at 17th and Vine in Hayes. Bacon Ryan Appraising Services, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Call Patty Bacon Ryan today. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable with quality products they stand behind. See them at their new location north of Hayes or online at homesteelsiding.com. Thirsties, before the game, during the game, after the game. Enjoy great food and a great atmosphere at Thirsties. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurtenberger Construction. M&D Incorporated does trenching for sewer, water, electric, and gas. They also dig basements and make building pads. M&D Excavating, building the backbone of our community. Insurance Planning Incorporated, insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance Planning. IPI Financial Services, and Agpro Crop Insurance. Offices at Hayes, Great Bend, and Russell. Home Oil and Supply, 24-hour card fueling, bulk delivery of gas and fuel. Proud to support TMP and Hayes High. Serving the Hayes area since 1963. Home Oil and Supply. Hayes Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks and vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. Master Cleaners, do your laundry in only four minutes. Two minutes to drop it off and two minutes to pick it up. Master Cleaners, 200 West 8th in Hayes. World of Wheels, at World of Wheels, they offer quality vehicles at affordable prices. Customers mean the world to them at World of Wheels, 426 East 8th in Hayes. Walmart, save money, live better. Walmart of Hayes. APAC has proven itself to be unsurpassed in quality and safety for highway construction. In fact, APAC is recognized as having one of the very best safety records in the industry. APAC, giving you a smooth ride. Carpet One of Hayes, Vidstam Decorating Center, providing you the quality, service, selection, and value since 1945. Nobody does it better than Carpet One, Vidstam Decorating Center. Whiskey Creek Wood Fire Grill, where the fires always burn it. Whiskey Creek. Commercial Builders, on time, on target, on budget. Commercial Builders. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes, Redeem Designs. James Motor Company, proud to serve our hometown athletes. They have an excellent selection of new and used Buick, Cadillac, and GMC vehicles. See the good guys for the best deal around. James Motor Company, 13th and Main and Hayes. And Eagle Communications, our community connected. It's our high school sports sponsors this year on Eagle TV. This high school sports presentation is sponsored by 
Kerner Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, providing personalized chiropractic care so you can live your life. Find us in the Northridge Plaza Hayes. Thomas More Prep Marion. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Service Master Clean of Hayes. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today, 628-6712. Lifetime Dental Care. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Bernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. Mary Ann, Bonnie, and the staff at Bernie's Hamburger House is at 17th and Vine in Hayes. Bacon Ryan Appraising Services, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Call Patty Bacon Ryan today. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable with quality products they stand behind. See them at their new location north of Hayes or online at homesteelsiding.com. Thirsties, before the game, during the game, after the game. Enjoy great food and a great atmosphere at Thirsties. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurtenberger Construction. M&D Incorporated does trenching for sewer, water, electric, and gas. They also dig basements and make building pads. M&D Excavating, building the backbone of our community. Insurance Planning Incorporated, insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance Planning. IPI Financial Services, and Agro Crop Insurance. Offices at Hayes, Great Bend, and Russell. Home Oil and Supply, 24-hour card fueling, bulk delivery of gas and fuel. Proud to support TMP and Hayes High. Serving the Hayes area since 1963. Home Oil and Supply. Hayes Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks and vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. Master Cleaners, do your laundry in only four minutes. Two minutes to drop it off and two minutes to pick it up. Master Cleaners, 200 West 8th in Hayes. World of Wheels, at World of Wheels, they offer quality vehicles at affordable prices. Customers mean the world to them at World of Wheels, 426 East 8th in Hayes. Walmart, save money, live better. Walmart of Hayes. APAC has proven itself to be unsurpassed in quality and safety for highway construction. In fact, APAC is recognized as having one of the very best safety records in the industry. APAC, giving you a smooth ride. Carpet One of Hayes, Vidstam Decorating Center, providing you the quality, service, selection, and value since 1945. Nobody does it better than Carpet One, Vidstam Decorating Center. Whiskey Creek Wood Fire Grill, where the fires always burn it. Whiskey Creek. Commercial Builders, on time, on target, on budget. Commercial Builders. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes, Redeem Designs. James Motor Company, proud to serve our hometown athletes. They have an excellent selection of new and used Buick, Cadillac, and GMC vehicles. See the good guys for the best deal around. James Motor Company, 13th and Main and Hayes. And Eagle Communications, our community connected. It's our high school sports sponsors this year on Eagle TV. This high school sports presentation is sponsored by Kerner Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, providing personalized chiropractic care so you can live your life. 
Find us in the Northridge Plaza Hayes. Thomas Moore. This high school sports presentation is sponsored by Kerner Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, providing personalized chiropractic care so you can live your life. Find us in the Northridge Plaza Hayes. Thomas Moore Prep Marion. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Service Master Clean of Hayes. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today, 628-6712. Lifetime Dental Care. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Bernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. Mary Ann, Bonnie, and the staff at Bernie's Hamburger House is at 17th and Vine in Hayes. Bacon Ryan Appraising Services, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Call Patty Bacon Ryan today. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful energy efficient and comfortable with quality products they stand behind. See them at their new location north of Hayes or online at homesteelsiding.com. Thirsties, before the game, during the game, after the game. Enjoy great food and a great atmosphere at Thirsties. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wartenberger Construction. M&D Incorporated does trenching for sewer, water, electric, and gas. They also dig basements and make building pads. M&D Excavating, building the backbone of our community. Insurance Planning Incorporated, insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance Planning. IPI Financial Services, and AgPro Crop Insurance. Offices at Hayes, Great Bend, and Russell. Home Oil and Supply, 24-hour card fueling, bulk delivery of gas and fuel. Proud to support TMP and Hayes High. Serving the Hayes area since 1963. Home Oil and Supply. Hayes Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks and vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. Master Cleaners, do your laundry in only four minutes. Two minutes to drop it off and two minutes to pick it up. Master Cleaners, 200 West 8th in Hayes. World of Wheels, at World of Wheels, they offer quality vehicles at affordable prices. Customers mean the world to them at World of Wheels, 426 East 8th in Hayes. Walmart. Save money, live better. Walmart of Hayes. APAC has proven itself to be unsurpassed in quality and safety for highway construction. In fact, APAC is recognized as having one of the very best safety records in the industry. APAC, giving you a smooth ride. Carpet One of Hayes, Vidstam Decorating Center, providing you the quality, service, selection, and value since 1945. Nobody does it better than Carpet One, Vidstam Decorating Center. Whiskey Creek Wood Fire Grill, where the fires...
Ooh, they're one and they're going to receive. And welcome to a picture-perfect night at Lewis Field Stadium as the Hayes High Indians get set to take on the Liberal Redskins. It's the first home game of the season for the Hayes High Indians as they are in week three of the season, both Hayes High and Liberal 1-1 one one on the year. For the Hayes High Indians, 0-1 in conference play. For Liberal, it's their first game of the year in the Western Athletic Conference where they are one of their last 28 games have been into the victory column. Kurt David joins us in the booth. Kurt, how did the coin toss go tonight? Who gets the football? Hey, the captains, Hunter Brown, Shane Behrens, and Colt Myers won the toss, and something we don't see very often but anymore, they elected to receive the ball. They did not defer. Hey, Cyanians are going to have the ball. They're going to receive and test that liberal redskin defense off the bat. They're going to be moving from the right side of us to the left side. So we'll be looking right to left as the Hey, Cyanians look to move it down the field against the liberal redskins to start this week three. Of football. Let's get to the starting lineups brought to you by Eagle Fusion for the best TV experience with an amazing lineup of HD channels. Contact Eagle Communications 625 5910. On offense for the Indians, Hunter Brown at quarterback, fullback Dylan Schmidtberger. The running back is Colton Myers, who went over 100 yards last week. Shane Barron's the tight end. Keaton Markley, Colin Kreitzer are at the wide receiver spots. Left tackle, Freddie Haynes. Left guard, Chance Brungard. The center is Trey Van Pelt. The right guard, Dylan Flayler. And the right tackle is Connor Winter. It'll be for the Hayes High Indians. William Sinnott and Xavier Dan Duran back to receive at the 10-yard line. Bursiaga's kick is going to be heading towards the sideline. It is grabbed by Dan Duran at the 15, 20. He's going to get hit, spun around the 25, stay on his feet to the 26-yard line. Kickoff tonight brought to you by Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas, Steel Fabrications. If you need it fixed, welded, built, or sandblasted, see Steel Fab. East Highway 40 in Hayes, proud to support the area youth in all they do. Hayes High will start their first possession at the 26-yard line. They go right to left. The Indians over the first two weeks of the season, averaging 284, 285 yards of offense and 22 and a half points. Last week burst out for 324 yards against the Great Bend Panthers, though lost 35-14. Split wide receivers, eye formation, tied in right, turn, handoff, no play action pass. Brown rolls out, throws into the hands, and then in and out of the hands of the intended wide receiver. That was intended for Keaton Markley, goes incomplete. Too bad Keaton didn't hold on to that because good protection starting out for the Hayes High offensive line, giving Brown plenty of time to get that ball in the air. Your defense for the Liberal Redskins looks like this. Daniel Whaling and Jesse Navarrete are the defensive ends. Elwin Treo, the nose guard, five linebackers for Liberal in this game. Second and ten from the 26, split in the backfield, counterplay, Colton Myers tries to bounce outside, hit from behind and taken down, no gain. Elwin Treo, the defensive tackle we just talked about, with the tackle, third and ten for the Indians. Third down has been an issue for Hayes High this year on offense, converting just 20% Five of 25. That's three for 12 last week. Also on defense for Liberal, Marcel Monarez, Caesar uh, Bursiaga, Zach Mansell, Derek Simmons, and Jose Aguilera. The linebackers, Ty Chandler, Ty Johnson, the cornerbacks, and Jesse Alvarado is the safety. Third and 10. End around for Markley. Markley gets a lane. He gets near the first down and comes up a yard short at the 35 yard line. Gain of nine for Keaton Markley, a play that he scored on last week and ran one other play for 18 yards. Indians three and out on their first drive unless they go for it from their own 35-yard line. And Hayes High sends Wyatt Sheevy in. Hayes High looks to go for it on fourth and one from their own 35-yard line, moving right to left and now whistles and a timeout. The play clock must have not got reset. It was down to four. The officials reset it back to 20. Hayes High is going to go for this on fourth and one from their own 35-yard line. I formation, Brown under center, long snap count, and jumping offside, the Liberal Redskins. Hayes High is going to get a free first down. Little payback. Ellen Treo that time, the junior nose guard, jumped offsides. Hayes High Indians getting some payback for three offside penalties last week against the Panthers. So the Indians will move up to the 40-yard line and have their first first down of the game. Hayes High right to left, their home black uniforms, maroon numbers, maroon pants, maroon helmets, Indians on the left side of the helmet. I formation, split wide receivers on first and 10 from the 40. Th from the 40, turn and handoff Colton Myers, cut back 50, he's at the 40, he's at the 
35 where he's eventually taken down by the safety taken down by Ty Johnson for the Hayes High Indians it's a run officially to the 35 yard line a 25 yard run by Colton Myers is the Indians biggest run play of the year I'll tell you what the big block on that was Trey Van Pelt he's a 244 pound junior he just controlled Trejo a 250 pound junior nose guard that was a key block on that play Two wide receivers left. Brown, a keeper that way, gets an extra block. 30, he's at the 25, he's at the 20, and gets taken out of bounds there by Ty Johnson. Now, Ty Johnson made a late tackle. Honestly, Johnson was falling down, and I think it was more of he was just trying to make sure he didn't land face mask first into the ground. It's a big run, though, to the 19-yard line, a gain of 16 yards for Hunter Brown. So the Indians, no yards on their first four, or first two plays of the game, start reeling off chunks. They're in the red zone. Hayes High, this year in the red zone, is perfect. Six for six scoring. It's a handoff. Schmidtberger right side at the 15, keeps on his feet to the 10-yard line. Near a first down, it's a gain of eight to the 11. Hey, again, Trey Van Pelt's just really controlling Ellen Trejo up front. Navarrete also getting controlled on that offensive line, on that defensive line. Indians in the red zone six times this year, five touchdowns and a field goal. They'd like to have six. Second and we'll call it two from the 11-yard line. Split wide receivers. Hunter, uh, Hunter Brown under center, eye formation, Myers dots the eye. He gets the handoff, left side, hit in the backfield, keeps his feet moving and gets back to the line of scrimmage. That time, one of the five linebackers came blowing up. That's Bursiaga to make the hit in the backfield. No gain, third and two. Tell you what, no misdirection on that play. The Hayes High Indians have run predominantly to the right. The one long run, long run one by Hunter Brown has had some misdirection to it. It looked like they were going to the right side, but when the Hayes High Indians so far on this first drive go to the left side of the line, Hayes High Indian offensive line's having a hard time control on that side, but Hayes High has dominated the right side of the line of scrimmage. Third and two, ball at the left, hash at the 11-yard line, and trying to get liberal to jump they don't hand off Colton Myers first down as he gets inside the nine yard line Colton Myers goes to the right side of the line of scrimmage to pick up that first down needed two got about two and a half the officials look 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 and they do mark it as a first down call it a gain of three for Myers four carries on this opening drive for 28 yards Indians have first and goal now from just inside the nine yard line Indians with inside nine minutes to go first quarter got liberal to jump on a fourth and one Hayes high offset eye it's a keeper by Brown left side gets hit driven back into the inside of the five nice tackle being made by Derek Simmons the outside linebacker 165 pound senior did not allow Brown to get outside the tackles that time but it's a gain of three to the five yard line yeah, but that, second and goal yeah but that time Freddie Haynes and Wyatt Sheevy teamed up together to double team uh, D uh, Daniel Whaling, the junior defensive end, and that time actually did a better job of controlling this near side, the left side of the line of scrimmage with that double team. Keaton Markley to the right, Colin Kreitzer to the left on second and goal from the five-yard line. Indians marching right to left, split in the backfield, Brown under center, turns, keeps it himself on the option. He's going to dive for the end zone. Is he in? Touchdown, Hayes High Indians. A five-yard plunge by quarterback Hunter Brown. It's his first rushing touchdown of the season, and Hayes High takes a 6 nothing lead on a nearly four-minute drive to open up the game. Ten plays to go 74 yards. That's a lot better opening drive than fumbling a ball on the first drive of the game and allowing the Great Bend Panthers to score. Hayes High Indians definitely off to a much better start this week in week three. It'll be Logan Clark on to attempt the extra point. The kick is up. The point after is good. And Hayes High has a 7-0 lead on the Liberal Redskins. They use a 25-yard run to be able to get into the plus side of the field, but the key play of the drive, Kurt David, was drawing liberal offsides and getting some extra downs. That's exactly right. Exactly what happened last week to the Hayes High Indians. The Hayes High Indians did it against the Liberal Redskins. They extended that drive with the penalty. Then they really dominated and pounded the right side of the line of scrimmage. Hunter Brown picked up a nice long run by some misdirection to the right side that drew the Liberal Redskins defense off balance, opened up the left side of the line of scrimmage, but Right now, in terms of that right side of the line of scrimmage, the Hayes High Indian offensive line 
really has done a terrific job. Trey Van Pelt, Connor Winter just did terrific jobs as linemen on that drive. Indians attempted a pass on the first play of the game and nothing after that. Logan Clark will kick off from the 40-yard line in pregame easily kicking 50 from the tee. Indian football brought to you by Eagle Communications, Heartland Building Center, Midwest Energy, Gibbs Auto Supply, You Save Pharmacy, and Steel Fabrications. Logan Clark checks the sideline, sees where the kick needs to go, steps back to the 32-yard line. Will run up and put his right foot into it. It's a kick to the left side. It's going to be a returnable kick. It's brought up to the 20-yard line, 25, big hole, watch out, gone! That is going to be a touchdown for the Liberal Redskins, returned by the Redskins freshman Cyrus Dunlap. The freshman is going to start at running back tonight, but he gets his first opportunity to touch the ball and takes it 90 yards for a touchdown, and Liberal doesn't touch it on offense a special teams gaffe by Hayes High, and honestly, Hayes High special teams the last two weeks have played very well. They're, they've played very well, but the speed of Cyrus Dunlap, we see why in week three the freshman's been brought into this game. Liberal Redskins need that speed on their offense that has been sporadic at best. Tell you what, the Hayes High Indians, once they do give the ball back to the Liberal Redskins and play defense, they're going to have to make sure they get a hard hit on Cyrus Dunlap and don't release. Extra point by Bursiaga is up. It is good. We have a seven-all ball game, and the Hayes High Indian crowd you gets to see their, their Indians for the first time had the winds taken out of their sails. Some future Indians here tonight by both the way of some of the football players, the youth cheerleading camp tonight as well on the on the sidelines. So a lot of future Indians here at Lewis Field Stadium tonight as well. Indian football brought to you by Horizon Appliance and Electronics, Kevin Shoemaker Construction, Next Tech, and M&D of Hayes. We saw Cyrus Dunlap's speed. He's a fast guy, was fast a year ago on the track. He was last year, recorded 11-5, 100-meter dash in the eighth grade. Now, I'll tell you what, as an eighth grader, that would have that would have got him 10th place in the state finals this year in Class 5A. We are good friends with Brock Kappelman, the liberal Redskins play-by-play -play guy, and he had nothing but great things to say about Cyrus Dunlap and basically saying that the coaches, coaching staff was bringing him on slowly, just special teams, wide receiver, and then also trying to find ways to get him into the games late. Well... He's made a big impact tonight, 7-all with 7.53 to go first quarter. Well, I'll tell you what, that kickoff was at 8.03 at, at the 8.03 mark. He picked it up on the five-yard line, so he went 95 yards in 10 seconds. Not bad, not bad at all. It'll be to kick off Bursiaga. Hayes High, after taking a 7-0 lead, we'll see this ball twist to the sidelines, and it's going to have to be taken on a one-handed catch by Dan Duran at the 15. Cuts that foot down at the 20, tries to jump through a defender, and then there are four white jerseys to take down Dan Duran, and boy, that ball looked like it was going to bounce out of, out of bounds. It took a weird bounce and stayed in. Dan Duran did a good job of sticking out his left hand, got a hold of that football, and makes a nice return to the 24-yard line. Liberals in their road white uniforms. They're on the road for the second consecutive game. Red numbers, red helmets, black pants as they play here at Lewis Field Stadium. Ball at the 24. Hayes High scored on their opening drive of 10 plays moving right to left, but then gave up a 95-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Offset eye formation, tied in left, Brown under center, turn, handoff on the counter play to Myers. Myers' big hole gets to the 34-yard line. He'll take five yards at a chunk on the first down. I like to see that counter play. We talked in the first series that the Hayes Hyenas were real successful on the right side of the line of scrimmage, not so much on the near side. When they were successful, they had misdirection. That time a counter play, some misdirection to try to get the Liberal Redskin defense to over-pursue, and they did, allowing the Hayes Hyenas to pick up five yards to this near side, the left side of the line of scrimmage. Colton Myers over 100 yards last week. He's got 33 on five carries tonight. Second and five from the 29. It's a turn keeper by Brown. Brown sticks his helmet up into the offensive line, still on his feet, gets near a first down. Where the far side official runs in, Hayes High is about a half yard short. Well, now where they mark him down, Brown may have gotten it. He does. Picks up another five yards for a first down. Hayes High on their first two plays of the game went zero and zero yards on an incomplete pass and a run picked up nine drew liberal off sides and then on fourth and one then we're on their way so five yards for brown he has a touchdown tonight four carries 29 yards ball up to the 34 inside seven minutes to go first quarter it's seven all here at lewis field stadium 
Myers takes the handoff, right side, 40, 10-yard gain. It's an 11-yard gain all the way up to the 45-yard line. Hayes High right now finding some big holes over both the right and left tackle sides. That offensive line performing well, Kurt David. Boy, they are performing well, but the Liberal Redskin defense is making it easy on them. Navarrete is the defensive end. Monterey is number 40. He's the outside linebacker lining right up next to Navarrete. It's really easy for two offensive linemen to pick off both of those guys and block them. They're making it so easy for the Hayes High Indians to block them. If they start spreading that thing out, it's going to get more difficult for the Indians. Wyatt Sheevy brings the play in. He'll split off to the right side. Colin and Kreitzer left. Indians have attempted only one pass. It fell incomplete. Here's a handoff again to Myers. Myers trips as he gets near the 50. They'll mark him down at the 48. It's a gain of three. Myers had a chance to cut back and simply just slip down to the turf. It's a gain of three yards and one of the shorter runs of the night for the Hayes High Indians. Second and seven as Hayes High tied with Liberals. Seven all. Indians a five-yard Hunter Brown touchdown run for the Liberal Redskins. A 95-yard kickoff return by Cyrus Dunlap, a freshman. Two wide receivers to the right side this time. Markley and also... Colin Kreitzer, I formation, Brown under center. It's an end around to Markley, gets hit in the backfield, and there's a big play made by the nose guard, Elwin Treo. It's a loss of four on the play, third and 11 for the Indians. Elwin Treo got into the backfield quick and sensed that that ball was coming back in his direction and just pushed Trey Van Pelt out of the way to make pick up that tackle for loss. Treo's got three tackles for loss coming in in the night. He's now got four. Third and 11 for the Hayes High Indians. They're one for two on third down tonight on third and ten picked up nine yards on third and two picked up three yards Barron's wide receiver left two wide receivers to the right Sheevy and Kreitzer offset eye formation Brown play action pass he's going to look down the right side of the field for Kreitzer it is caught on the sideline that didn't get his foot in bounds Kreitzer just could not haul in that ball in time Indians go incomplete and will punt the football away on fourth and eleven Positive there is last week against Guyman, the liberal redskin defense put a lot of pressure in the backfield and only allowed the, uh, the, the Guyman offense to pick up 64 yards. Passing was almost impossible for Guyman, but the Hayes High Indian offensive line is giving Hunter Brown plenty of time to throw that ball now on his second pass attempt. So Barons will punt for the eighth time this season, averaging 37 yards per punt on the year. Snap back to Barron's. Has time to get it away. Nice high punt. All the way back to the seven. Make it the six-yard line. Return there by Tyreek Chandler. Got a seam. Now a flag comes in on the play as he's taken down at the 24. Tackle on the special teams is going to be made by the Hayes High Indians. I believe that was... Conrad Viner on the tackle. But a flag back at the 12-yard line. Probably going to bring this back against Liberal. That punt for Barons of 54 yards. Block in the back. So the Liberal Redskins are going to be get moved backward to about it's going to be inside the 10-yard line. Yeah, they'll probably mark it back. Yep. If the penalty was at the 12, so it negates the 14-yard return. Penalty marks the ball back to the six-yard line where Liberal will start their first offensive series after they had a 95-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. We'll start, get the starters on defense to you for the Hayes High Indians. 4.49 to go first quarter. This is Liberal's first play on offense. A toss left side to Bursiaga. Tries the left side. Indians are there to bring Bursiaga down. No, he stays on his feet to the 10 and nearly gets to the 11. Bursiaga will pick up four yards to the 10-yard line, get almost to the 11, mark him at the 11. It's a gain of five. Bursiaga, the team's second-leading rusher right now at 80 yards. The quarterback, Jesse Alvarado, 95 yards. Second and five for Liberal, moving left to right. Indians have some changes on defense. We'll get those to you. Alvarado under center. From the left hash, option play left. Alvarado keeps. Colton Myers says, yeah, that's okay. I'll take you down to the backfield for a loss of a yard. Interesting tactic. One of the big changes, Freddie Haynes has moved from the defensive end position into a defensive tackle position. Him and Connor Winter are staying low. They've obviously been instructed to almost bear crawl through the offensive line during a, on the initial, once the ball had snapped. That time, Freddie Haynes did the bear crawl into the backfield, sprinted to the far side of the field, and got in on that tackle. Kurt David, you're exactly right. They work on it in practice. If 
They're double teamed. They go low to try to blow up that play. Third down and six is an end around to Tyreek. Make that Ty Chandler, the Z back, will get about three yards. Thir fourth and three coming up for the Liberal Redskins. Chandler missed last week because of a suspension. Liberal will be three and out. And the Hayes High Indians will get the football back tied at seven. Now it's fourth and two. Remember the issues the Indians had a week ago. Back to, pit, to punt is Bersiagi. He'll stand on his goal line. Hayes High sends William Sinnott back to return the punt. High snap, but Bersiaga gets it. It's a good punt by Bersiaga. This will land at the 45-yard line of Liberal and roll all the way inside the 35 down to the 34-yard line of the Hayes High Indians. What a punt by Bersiaga. But Hayes High has the football in a 7-all ball game. Well, that's correct. Hayes High Indians have got the football back, and they held the liberal Redskin offense to a 3-and-out on their first possession of the game. So Hayes High Indian had a scoring drive on their first possession offensively. Now on the true first true defensive possession, been able to hold liberal Redskins to a 3-and-out. A 52-yard punt. Hayes High with the football at their own 34. Indian football brought to you by Canterbury Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Progressive Physical Therapy. Crop Production Services and Edward Jones, Daryl, Jeff, and Linda Seibel. Indians first and ten, and Liberal jumps off sides. Another free five yards for the Hayes High Indians. Liberal's second, uh, excuse me, Liberal's third penalty of the night. That time, not just Trail, it was the entire defensive line that jumped off side there. Navarrete hasn't done too well for the Liberal Redskins. They've replaced him with Alex Wynn already on that defensive line. Two wide receivers, one right, one left. Shane Barron's the tight end to the right side as well in the I formation. First and five, handoff Myers. Patiently waits behind the block, gets the first down. Gain of six, tackle made by defensive end Daniel Whaling. So first down, again, tacking that far, the right side of the line of scrimmage with the Hayes High Indian running game. Hayes High's first drive, 10 plays. 74 yards and a touchdown on a five-yard run by Hunter Brown. And then Liberal returned a kickoff, 95 yards for a score to go seven all. The two teams trade 50-yard punts, and Hayes High has the ball at their own 45-yard line. First and 10, split on the running backs. Keeper by Brown, hit hard and driven backwards. Hit over on that far side by Liberal's... Liberal's got a new player in the backfield, Jorge Hummer on a 190 pound junior. He's not even listed in the stats this year. I'll tell you what, Liberals moved Alex Wynn, the 275 pound senior, into that nose guard position, giving Ellen Treo a break. The junior at 250 pounds are electing to put 25 more pounds up on that front line to see if the Liberal Redskins to stop the Hayes High Indians running game. Brown, no gain on the play. Second and 10, Hayes High from their own 45, about where their drive stalled out the last time. Brown, play action pass over the middle, and, Bra and Barons has it just go off his fingertips. Incomplete. Hunter's 21 for 29 this year coming into the game. 0 for 3 tonight. Brown this year ranking second in the Western Athletic Conference in pass percentage at 72% behind Great Bend's Jacob Murray at 77%. Hunter Brown threw that pass high, and he was wise to do so. Shane Barron's was well covered on that play. Had that ball been thrown low, good, good chance there's an interception against Hunter Brown. Hayes High now third and ten. They're one for three on third down tonight, just 20% on the year. Offset eye formation on this third and ten. Play action pass. Brown with time to throw. Over the middle, Barron's with a nice catch and a first down on a gain of 11 to the liberal 44 yard line barons had to reach back a little bit but he gets the first down yeah but a classic nice tight end pass play they're going to going to kind of a down and into the inside of the field and shane barons reached behind him but he gathered that ball in with both arms side and got the first down and didn't try to fight for more yardage there barons seventh catch of the year he comes in tied for fourth in the western athletic conference in catches Two wide receivers left, offset eye formation, power left side. It's going to be an option play. Keeper by Brown tries to get to the outside, 45. He's at the 40, gets taken down, out of bounds again by Ty Johnson. That's twice now that Johnson is throwing Brown down out of bounds, and that gets the Hayes High crowd a little on edge. 
It's a gain of four for Brown. And one of the little things we talk about that the Hayes High Indians need to do is after those linemen get their initial block done, they need to pick up another block downfield. That time the blocking really stopped at the line of scrimmage. In order for the backs to pick up additional yards downfield, in order for that play to be successful for Hunter Brown, the linemen have to break off that first block and get downfield and pick up a secondary person or a linebacker. Ball from the 40. It's an end around to Keaton Markley. Has to try to jump outside. Can't do it. Now he cuts back to the inside. Gets near a first down at the 39-yard yard line. Well, that play looked dead in the water at the line of scrimmage. Instead, Markley keeps it alive, third down and a half yard. It was it was dead in the water, but Markley read Ellen Treo, who was back in the game, 255 pounds, was over pursuing. Markley simply stopped the 255 pound junior's momentum. That mass wasn't able to stop as quickly and shift as Markley did, and Markley took advantage of that. Markley's third carry already tonight for a total of 10 yards. Third down and a half a yard. Indians need to get to the 39 under center and it's a fumbled snap Brown picks it up and gets tackled two yards deep in the end zone Kurt David the little things the little things Hayes High Indians got back on the ball that time but again you've got to make that center that center to quarterback exchange correct you got to not put the ball down on the ground 20 seconds to go first quarter Hayes High does not have to run a play here on fourth down and two if they do not want to in a seven all ball game Fourth down and three, we'll call it. Hayes High looks to go for it. They're at the liberal 37-yard line, so if Barron punts it out of the back of the end zone, really you don't save any yardage. Well, you save 17 yards, and that will be the end of the first quarter. Seven all. Fireworks early in this first quarter. Second half of the quarter, not so much. Seven all between Hayes and Liberal. This is Hayes High Indian football. get it. You work hard and play hard. Internet should be the last thing slowing you down. Eagle Communications gives you the speed you need so you can play hard and save cash. For a limited time, get 30 meg for $30 or 50 meg for $50 so you can work, play, and save. Call us at 877-61-EAGLE today. Back at Lewis Field Stadium, Hayes High and Liberal tied at seven. Hayes High now moving left to right, fourth down and three. As Hayes High has the ball at the Liberal 37-yard line. It's Myers right side, runs into Treo, and that's not going anywhere. It's a gain of one on fourth and three. Hayes High loses the ball on downs. Turnover downs. Hey, big difference tonight as the Hayes High Indian offense switches directions here. Last two weeks, we've been dealing with 20-mile-per-hour winds that has really played into the offensive scheme. No wind tonight here in Hayes. No wind at Lewis Stadium. It's just a beautiful Chamber of Commerce evening. 75 degrees at kickoff tonight. Down to about 64 by the time the game is done. That was the first play of the second quarter. Liberal now with their second offensive drive. They returned a kick for a touchdown. Ran three plays in the entire first quarter. Chris Workman, a wide receiver to the right. Liberal takes over at their own 36-yard line. It's a handoff right side to Bursiaga. Gets through the initial hit, then taken down at the line of scrimmage. Indians linebackers come shooting up to make the stop. That time it was Chance Brungard on the tackle. Chance Brungard came in quick, and he came in hard and stopped that running back in his tracks. That's what the Hayes High Indians need to do is go hard to the ball and try to force fumbles against this team that has so prominently turned that ball over. Indian defense looks like this. Shane Barron's after two weeks at linebackers at defensive end with Dylan Flayler. The defensive tackles, Freddie Haynes and Connor Winter. Get the rest to you here in a moment. Z back right. Handoff up the middle to Mansell. Nothing doing. Indians attack with seven in the box. 
box that time. No gain on the first carry for Zach Mansell. The rest of the defense for Hayes High. Inside linebackers are Xavier Danderan and Colton Myers. Outside linebackers Dylan Schmidtberger and Chance Brungart. The cornerbacks, Hunter Brown, Colin Kreitzer, and the safety is Keaton Markley. Lots of changes for the Indians. Third and ten now for the Liberal Redskins. Interesting tack that the Hayes High defensive line, four men on the defensive line, they're not putting man directly over the center, Aaron Lechuga. So without a man directly over him, Lechuga's got to go do a linebacker to pick up a block. That leaves a gap open to the middle, right in the middle of the field, and the Hayes High Indians are taking advantage of that, and they did on that play to stop it with no gain. Third and ten from the 36. It's a pass play over the middle. It is tipped and incomplete, and now a flag on the play. Indians nearly intercepted the football. Trying to come up with it was Xavier Danderan. The far side official over where the liberal bench is is where the flag came in. The penalty is illegal procedure against the Redskins. You'd think Hayes High would decline this, make it fourth and ten. And that's what they'll do, so Hayes High will have a chance here to get the ball back after Liberal goes three plays and no yards. In the first half, they went three plays and picked up eight yards. Jesse Alvarado just four for eight this year, but for 101 yards, he threw a 50-yard touchdown back in week number one against Ulysses. So Bursiaga on to punt for a second time. His first one went for 52 yards, and again, wind not an issue tonight. Hayes High came hard after the pat last punt. There's been some snapping issues. The quarterback is the snapper, Alvarado. The snap is a high one. Bursiaga has to move to his left. Indians set up a return. Dandoran, or excuse me, Senate is going to let it bounce. It takes a Hayes High bounce, and then a liberal bounce. Just past the 30-yard line, and the whistles stop the ball at the 32. A 32-yard punt for Bursiaga this time. So Liberal, a 95-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Outside of that, six plays, eight yards. Well, two consecutive three-and-out possessions of the Hayes High Indian defense have held the Liberal Redskins to. You can't ask for anything more than that from the Hayes High Indian defense. Now the Hayes High offense needs to get back in tow. Ten plays, 74 yards on their first drive. Then a punt and a change of possession on downs. Now Hayes High is going to spread it out for the first time. Barron's one-on-one -on -one near side. Three wide receivers to the left as Hunter Brown's in the shotgun. Low snap. Brown just has to pick it up and run. Gets away from a jersey grab. Gets across the 40 and near the 45-yard line. He'll be taken down at the 44. It was a low snap. Brown just had to run with it. He's going to pick up 12 yards. Well, that offensive formation did exactly what it was supposed to do and spread out the liberal redskin defense. That way, the, the linebackers, the four linebackers in the middle of the field, they had to spread out to cover the receivers. Hunter Brown took advantage of that with the openings up the middle of the field. Seven all, Hayes and Liberal, 9.39 to go. Second quarter, Barron's to the right side. William Sinnott to the right as well. Kreitzer, Markley to the left. Myers in the backfield with Brown. It's an end around to Markley. Markley keeps it tucked under, waits for the blocks. He's at the 45. He's at midfield and driven out of bounds on a nice tackle by a player that, honestly, we did not see coming into the ball game at all. It was Jorge Humeron making the tackle, and he's not even listed in the stats as making a tackle this year. A five-yard gain by Markley, who's already ran four times tonight. Seen this earlier in the season. Colton Meyer getting a nice lead block there to allow for some yardage. And then after that lead block, he was further downfield hoping for additional yardage. So he was setting up, picking up a secondary block. Second and five from their own 49-yard line. Three left, one right. Brown in the shotgun. Markley in center again, uh, or in motion again. Brown keeps it himself. First down. Dives over the tackle of Ty Chandler. And the Hayes High Indians first down in liberal territory at the 43-yard line. It's a gain of eight for Hunter Brown. Hunter Brown, a nice fake. That looked like it could have been a reverse and end-around play that we've seen the Hayes High Indians run successfully for yardage so far this season. That time they fake that reverse play. The liberal Redskin defense bites, and it opens up the middle of the field, and Hunter Brown picks up the first down. Hayes High going spread this time again. Two wide receivers right, two to the left. Now three to the left as Sinnott moves over to the left side. Brown claps his hands, takes the snap, screen play left. It's into the hands of Colton Myers. Indians get two yards out of it to the 41-yard line. 
Uh, you got to credit the liberal redskin defense there, especially number 40, Misael Monterey, the 195-pound junior. He's got 19 tackles on the season. Now he's up to at least 20. But that time, three receivers over there to the far side of the field you thought would have been able to block the liberal redskin defense. But guys like Monterey just pursued very well to pick up that tackle. Yeah, Misael is the fourth-leading tackler in the conference. Shane Barron's with 25 tackles over first two weeks. He's at the wide receiver right, a trio of wide receivers left, keeper by Brown, gets his jersey pulled on by Elwin Treo, who right now is making a living working that middle of the field. If he doesn't make the tackle, Brown may have a touchdown on the cutback. Instead, he's dra drugged down literally for a gain of one. 52 yards on 10 carries for Hunter Brown, third down for the Hayes High Indians. This will be third down and about seven yards. Hayes High just two for five on third down tonight. It's a keeper by Brown. Right side gets a lead block from Colton Myers. Gets almost to the 35-yard line. Needed seven. Got most of five. Fourth down about two and a half. Hayes High will go for it. It is almost the exact. It is the same spot they went for it earlier at the 36-yard line. Well, Trey Van Pelt now is continuing to control the middle of the field. He's taking care of Alex Wynn, who's moved to that nose guard position. But you talk about Trey, oh, they've moved him from the nose guard position to a defensive tackle position. Fourth and and having more success out there. Fourth and three again. Hayes High trying to get Liberal to jump. They don't do so. Hayes High will use a timeout. Worked in the first quarter, doesn't in the second quarter. Timeout for the Hayes High Indians is their first timeout of the half. Let's get a scoreboard update brought to you by Hayes Kalon for the greener grass you want. Make sure you start with Hayes Kalon in the fall. Call Kirk Maska 623-0674 or Kurt Viner 623-8427. After one, Great Bend is leading 20-13 to 13 against the Wichita Northwest Grizzlies. I don't think anybody saw that one coming. That's the only score that we have for you. Some of these games, especially Hayes High games, move a little quicker. So that's our only update in the hayes Kalon scoreboard update, unless you count the Kansas City Royals, who have not given up double-digit runs yet. They are 0-0 in the second inning. Hey, they're still in the game. The Chicago White Sox. So fourth and three for the Indians. Hayes High football brought to you by State Glass Company. Shelter insurance agent Dustin Shoemaker, Adams Brown, Barron and Ball, Leon's Welding and Fabrication, and Hayes Kalon. 7-7 with 6.37 to go second quarter. Indians 10 plays and a touchdown on their first drive have stalled out since. Only one running back, that is Colton Myers. Three to the right side, including tight end Shane Behrens. Hunter Brown under center. Toss play right side for Colton Myers. He tries to run over a defender, does so, and does not get the yardage necessary. Picks up one, needed three. Hayes High loses the ball on downs for a second consecutive play. Right play, good blocking schemes up front. They just didn't have control of the secondary who pursued well for the Liberal Redskins and sniffed that out and held the ball short of the first down. The second consecutive turnover on downs for the Hayes High Indians. Hayes High was six for nine on the year on fourth downs. They're 0 for two tonight, both on fourth and three, and Liberal gets the ball back at the 35-yard line. Still seven all, and Liberal, this is just their seventh play of offense. 95-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. First and 10. It's a keeper by Alvarado. Wrapped up in the backfield and dropped. And that play was made solely by Freddie Haynes, who just blew up the middle of the defense and made his way into the backfield. That's exactly right. Got back there quick, and there was no place that was going to go anyway because the whole middle of the line of scrimmage had been stuffed up by Connor Winter, who've done a great job on that play. So. Alvarado will lose two on the play. He's had two runs for negative three yards. Ball back to the 33-yard line. Liberal taking their time. Second and 12. Alvarado with the Z back to the right. Tossed to that side to the freshman Dunlap. Makes a couple of guys miss and then gets tackled very nicely by Colin Kreitzer over on the right sideline. It's a gain of two back to the line of scrimmage. Textbook tackle made by Colin Kreitzer and now the clock did not stop when the ball went out of bounds so the officials blow their whistles and that's why and it'll be third and ten for Liberal after the two yard Cyrus Dunlap run the first time we try, we've really seen the Liberal Redskins try to test the perimeter, try to test the outside, and Colin Kreitzer, you're right, did a great job of breaking down and making that open field tackle. An officials timeout now and now time is back in. All right. 
Liberal 0 for 2 so far on third down, on third and 6 and third and 10. Passing, they're just 0 for 1 so far. Liberal's offense has been non-existent. Hayes High's offense hasn't been able to take advantage. Liberal split in the backfield. Z back is to the left side. Alvarado wants to pass. Steps back. Almost steps on his own guy. Throws it deep for Workman. Incomplete. Workman got turned around. He was looking over his left shoulder. The ball came to his right shoulder. Didn't have time to get turned around. Alvarado 0 for 2 passing. And Liberal for a third consecutive series is three plays and punts. And we're still stuck at a 7-7 tie with 4.59 to go in the second quarter. Hayes High will send back William Sinnott to return the punt for Siaga for his third punt of the game. Ball snapped from the 35-yard line. Do the Indians come after this one? Nope, they're going to set up a return again. High snap, slow snap, Bursiaga, short punt. This will get into Hayes High territory. Indians will get away from it. Then it takes a huge liberal bounce. Down to the 25-yard line, rolled to the 24, and that's where the play will end. A 41-yard punt by Bursiaga. They aren't pretty punts, but they're effective because they continue to take big rolls for the liberal Redskins. Well, Hayes High Indian offense, uh, two consecutive possessions, the 34, the 32 on the last two previous possessions, now have it on the 24-yard line. And they've gone plenty of plays, but eventually turning it over on downs. The Hayes High Indians have got to pick up some yardage here with 444 left in this second quarter. Hayes High marched right down the field on their opening drive. Ten plays, 74 yards. After that, it's been rough sledding. Back to the I formation, turning handoff to Colton Myers, tries to go outside, breaks a tackle, but all of that for two yards to the 26. Yeah, all of that for two yards, but it's that, that's the little things there. There was initial contact there behind the line of scrimmage. Colton Myers fought through it, picked up a couple extra yards. He's side trying to get a lead here in the first half. Led 7-0, but then a Cyrus Dunlap 95-yard kickoff return for a touchdown, and he wasn't touched going to the end zone. Ball at the 26, Indians left to right, 4.15 to go second quarter, 7-all with Liberal. Liberal 1-27 and 27 in their last 28 Western Athletic Conference games. Brown under center, it's a keeper by Brown, right side tries to get to the corner, gets tripped up at the 30 to set up third down and four, and this is a right, uh, down Hayes High has to improve on. 20% on the year, 5 for 25. Tonight, Hayes High is just two for six on third down. This will be their second shortest third down conversion attempt of the night. This is third and four from the 30. Now the Liberal Redskins have brought Navarati, a starter, back in. He did not play well in his first position, but they brought him back in as a nose card position. We'll be interested to see what Trey Van Pelt can do to him here on third down. Heavy left side. It's a counter play for Myers. Myers breaks a tackle, gets a first down across the 35 to the 36. And Trey Van Pelt controls him. He's still blocking him as the first down's picked up. So Hayes High will get a much-needed first down on third and four. He'll get to the 35-yard line, gain of five yards. Hayes High does have two timeouts remaining in the half, 3.20 and rolling. Hayes High Indian football brought to you by Lewis Automotive Group. Insurance planning, Hayes Chevrolet and discount siding. Ball in the middle of the field. Shotgun now for Hunter Brown. He's going to keep it himself. Up the middle, 40, 45, and gets a hard hit as he lowers the shoulder between him and Tyreek Chandler. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Not the shot you want to see your quarterback taking, but you like the aggressiveness of somebody saying, let's go get this, guys. I don't know if the coaching staff's picked up on this, and I'm not telling you it's all about one defensive player, but Navarati's in the nose guard position. He did not do well from a no nose or a defensive tackle position. The Hayes High Indians controlled him on that right side of the line of scrimmage, that far side we talked about in the first quarter. He's now back in after being out for three consecutive possessions, and Trey Van Pelt's controlling him, and Hunter Brown's taking advantage of that open, open hole. First and 10 from the third from the 46 handoff Colton Myers big hole cut back at the 45 leaps over a defender into liberal territory and makes his way down to the 41 yard line nice run by Colton Myers India straight up the gut Kurt David you're calling it yeah I don't want to be a broken record but Trey Van Pelt is just controlling Jesse Navarati he's a 255 pound senior Trey 245 pound junior controlling the upperclassman who's two pounds heavy doing a terrific job and Hunter Brown now on two consecutive plays just picking up great yardage ball on the plus side of the field the 42 this is where the Indians stalled out on their last two drives and lost the ball on down shotgun formation to Two right, two left. Mark Lee in motion. He's going to take the handoff. He's going to get to the edge. Then he's going to get swung back by L1 Treo. And as he turns around to try to get away, smoked 
by Derek Simmons. It's a loss on the play of three. Liberal is well versed in this end around. They're well versed. They're well versed on perimeter play. That's where the Hayes High Indians are seeing the Liberal Redskin defense pursue real well. Interested in having more success just blowing it up the middle of the field than they are trying to run around end. Ball back to the 44 yard line. They did mark. The Indians down to about the 41 on that previous play. We'll call it second down and 12. Indians have just stalled out on their last three drives here. Three wide receivers left, one to the right. Brown in the shotgun. It's going to be a keeper by Brown. Gets to the right side. Can't get the extra block to get free as he gets taken down again by Simmons and Johnson. Ball at the 40. Daniel Whaling there as well. It's a gain of the yards lost on the previous play and then a couple of extra. So a gain of four on the play. Third down for the Hayes High Indians and about eight yards with a minute 20 to go in the half. You're right, a minute 20. The Hayes High Indians are not blessed with a lot of time here at the 40-yard at the, at the line of the Liberal Redskins. Hayes High left to right, shotgun for Brown, swing pass to the right side for Myers. Myers cuts back, gets to the, guess what, 36-yard line. There is an invisible wall at the 36 that Hayes High just cannot get past. Inside a minute to go, second quarter and counting. It's a completed pass to Colton Myers. Clock ticking, seven all. Indians facing fourth down about five. Liberals not using a timeout. Hayes High is not using a timeout. Indians are going to line up to go for it here on fourth down and five. They're 0 for 2 on fourth down. Do the Indians just try to draw Liberal off sides? Nope, they're going to pass. Over the middle, incomplete, nearly intercepted, and the Indians lose the ball on downs for a third consecutive series at the 36-yard line. Eight plays, they pick up two first downs. They move the ball well down the field into the Liberal Redskin territory, but ultimately turn it over on downs with 33 seconds left on the clock in this first half. Hayes High just three for eight on third down tonight and 0 for three on fourth down after going 10 plays, 74 yards on their opening drive. Now Liberal has 33 seconds to try to take the lead before halftime. And all three timeouts. It's a... Three running back set out of the eye. It's a handoff to Ty Chandler. It's like two fullbacks lined up behind each other, and then Chandler about seven yards off the ball. Goes left side to the 39 and a gain of three. Clock continues to roll with 30. Nope, no clock rolling now. Oh, oh illegal procedure against the Liberal Redskins. So, yeah, you know Hayes High is going to back him up on this, so no play. It is Liberal's fourth penalty of the first half. And the second time they've been called for a illegal procedure. Well, the way this game started, you thought Hayes High may have their way offensively. But for whatever reason, they keep getting to the 36 of the opponent and no further. Indian football brought to you by Four Days Auto Sales, High Plains Roofing, Commerce Bank, High Plains Farm Credit, as well as Classic Quality Body Shop, Roof Masters, Hertz Rent a Car, and Steel Fabrications. Liberal has all three timeouts remaining. They're not using them with 20 seconds to go in a seven all game in the first half. Liberal gets the ball to start the second half. Two in the backfield split for Alvarado. One to the right side. It's an end around and tackled deep in the backfield is going to be Ty Chandler. The tackle is going to be made by the Hayes High Indians back at the 24-yard line. Dylan Flaylor gets in there from the defensive end position. He's one of those changes the Hayes High Indian defense has made this week, coming in at the defensive end, and he pursued well into the backfield. And now a timeout on the field. And remember some uh, last week, Dylan Flaylor ran down Jacob Murray for a sack, and he was at the defensive end position. It was kind of new for him then, but obviously the Indian coaching staff saw something they liked, and now a timeout on the field. Liberal wants to set up a last play here. Hey, the, the Hayes High Indian coaching staff's really done a good job these last two weeks of watching film and looking trends. What are, they've made some changes defensively up front and with the linebacker core, and they've been very successful holding the Liberal Redskins to essentially nothing all night long. The Redskins at this point are at zero yards. Zero yards passing, and what they have on the positive side and negative side rushing have zero yards. Hayes High just has not been able to take advantage on the offensive side. It's 7-7 with four seconds to go before halftime. Second and now 22 from Liberal. They're backed up to their own 24-yard line. Yeah, the Hayes High Indians are going to kick off in the second half. They'd be better off just onside kicking instead of trying to kick it deep and seeing what Dunlap can do on his second try of the game. Good point. 
So now three wide receivers for Liberal on this second and 22 play. Alvarado tosses right side. Cyrus Dunlap trying to get a crease. Gets met. <laughs> and the freshman gets welcomed to the Western <laughs> Athletic Conference by Dylan Schmidtberger. And that's the half on a loss on the play of a couple yards. And that will be the end of the first half. After one half, we're where we started. A tie ball game, 7-7 between the Hayes High Indians and the Liberal Redskins. We return to Lewis Field Stadium for the second half here on Hayes High Indian football. This high school sports presentation is sponsored by Kerner Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, providing personalized chiropractic care so you can live your life. Find us in the Northridge Plaza, Hayes. Thomas More Prep Marion. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Service Master Clean of Hayes. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today, 628-6712. Lifetime Dental Care. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Bernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. Mary Ann, Bonnie, and the staff at Bernie's Hamburger House is at 17th and Vine in Hayes. Bacon Rhine Appraising Services, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Call Patty Bacon Rhine today. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable with quality products they stand behind. See them at their new location north of Hayes or online at homesteelsiding.com. Thirsties, before the game, during the game, after the game. Enjoy great food and a great atmosphere at Thirsties. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurtenberger Construction. M&D Incorporated does trenching for sewer, water, electric, and gas. They also dig basements and make building pads. M&D Excavating, building the backbone of our community. Insurance Planning Incorporated, insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance Planning. IPI Financial Services, and AgPro Crop Insurance. Offices at Hayes, Great Bend, and Russell. Home Oil and Supply, 24-hour card fueling, bulk delivery of gas and fuel. Proud to support TMP and Hayes High. Serving the Hayes area since 1963. Home Oil and Supply. Hayes Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks and vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. Master Cleaners, do your laundry in only four minutes. Two minutes to drop it off and two minutes to pick it up. Master Cleaners, 200 West 8th in Hayes. World of Wheels, at World of Wheels, they offer quality vehicles at affordable prices. Customers mean the world to them at World of Wheels, 426 East 8th in Hayes. Walmart, save money, live better. Walmart of Hayes. APAC has proven itself to be unsurpassed in quality and safety for highway construction. In fact, APAC is recognized as having one of the very best safety records in the industry. APAC, giving you a smooth ride. Carpet One of Hayes, Vidstam Decorating Center, providing you the quality, service, selection, and value since 1945. Nobody does it better than Carpet One, Vidstam Decorating Center. Whiskey Creek Wood Fire Grill, where the fire's always burning. Whiskey Creek. Commercial Builders, on time, on target, on budget. Commercial Builders. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. 
Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes Redeem Designs. James Motor Company, proud to serve our hometown athletes. They have an excellent selection of new and used Buick, Cadillac, and GMC vehicles. See the good guys for the best deal around. James Motor Company, 13th and Main and Hayes. And Eagle Communications, our community connected. It's our high school sports sponsors this year on Eagle TV. This high school sports presentation is sponsored by Kerner Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, providing personalized chiropractic care so you can live your life. Find us in the Northridge Plaza, Hayes. Thomas More Prep Marion. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Service Master Clean of Hayes. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today, 628-6712. Lifetime Dental Care. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family, health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Bernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. Mary Ann, Bonnie, and the staff at Bernie's Hamburger House in at 17th and Vine in Hayes. Bacon Ryan Appraising Services, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Call Patty Bacon Ryan today. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful energy efficient and comfortable with quality products they stand behind. See them at their new location north of Hayes or online at homesteelsiding.com. Thirsties, before the game, during the game, after the game, enjoy great food and a great atmosphere at Thirsties. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wartenberger Construction. M&D Incorporated does trenching for sewer, water, electric, and gas. They also dig basements and make building pads. M&D Excavating, building the backbone of our community. Insurance Planning Incorporated, insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance Planning. IPI Financial Services, and Agpro Crop Insurance. Offices at Hayes, Great Bend, and Russell. Home Oil and Supply, 24-hour card fueling, bulk delivery of gas and fuel. Proud to support TMP and Hayes High. Serving the Hayes area since 1963. Home Oil and Supply. Hayes Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks and vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. Master Cleaners, do your laundry in only four minutes. Two minutes to drop it off and two minutes to pick it up. Master Cleaners, 200 West 8th in Hayes. World of Wheels, at World of Wheels, they offer quality vehicles at affordable prices. Customers mean the world to them at World of Wheels, 426 East 8th in Hayes. Walmart, save money, live better. Walmart of Hayes. APAC has proven itself to be unsurpassed in quality and safety for highway construction. In fact, APAC is recognized as having one of the very best safety records in the industry. APAC, giving you a smooth ride. Carpet One of Hayes, Vidstam Decorating Center, providing you the quality, service, selection, and value since 1945. Nobody does it better than Carpet One, Vidstam Decorating Center. Whiskey Creek Wood Fire Grill, where the fire's always burning. Whiskey Creek. Commercial Builders, on time, on target, on budget. Commercial Builders. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people.
This high school sports presentation is sponsored by Kerner Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, providing personalized chiropractic care so you can live your life. Find us in the Northridge Plaza Hayes. Thomas More Prep Marion. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Service Master Clean of Hayes. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today, 628-6712. Lifetime Dental Care. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Bernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. Mary Ann, Bonnie, and the staff at Bernie's Hamburger House is at 17th and Vine in Hayes. They can write appraising services, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Call Patty Bacon Ryan today. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable with quality products they stand behind. See them at their new location north of Hayes or online at homesteelsiding.com. Thirsties, before the game, during the game, after the game. Enjoy great food and a great atmosphere at Thirsties. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurtenberger Construction. M&D Incorporated. Does trenching for sewer, water, electric, and gas. They also dig basements and make building pads. M&D Excavating. Building the backbone of our community. Insurance Planning Incorporated. Insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance Planning. IPI Financial Services, and AgPro Crop Insurance. Offices in Hayes, Great Bend, and Russell. Home Oil and Supply, 24-hour card fueling, bulk delivery of gas and fuel. Proud to support TMP and Hayes High. Serving the Hayes area since 1963. Home Oil and Supply. Hayes Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, and vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. Master Cleaners, do your laundry in only four minutes. Two minutes to drop it off and two minutes to pick it up. Master Cleaners, 200 West 8th in Hayes. World of Wheels, at World of Wheels, they offer quality vehicles at affordable prices. Customers mean the world to them at World of Wheels, 426 East 8th in Hayes. Walmart. Save money, live better. Walmart of Hayes. APAC has proven itself to be unsurpassed in quality and safety for highway construction. In fact, APAC is recognized as having one of the very best safety records in the industry. APAC, giving you a smooth ride. Carpet One of Hayes, Vidstam Decorating Center, providing you the quality, service, selection, and value since 1945. Nobody does it better than Carpet One, Vidstam Decorating Center. Whiskey Creek Wood Fire Grill, where the fire's always burning. Whiskey Creek. Commercial Builders, on time, on target, on budget. Commercial Builders. Redeem Designs, Screen Print, Embroidery, Design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes, Redeem Designs. James Motor Company, proud to serve our hometown athletes. They have an excellent selection of new and used Buick, Cadillac, and GMC vehicles. See the good guys for the best deal around. James Motor Company, 13th and Main in Hayes. And Eagle Communications, our community connected. It's our high school sports sponsors this year on Eagle TV. This high school sports presentation is sponsored by 
Kerner Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, providing personalized chiropractic care so you can live your life. Find us in the Northridge Plaza Hayes. Thomas More Prep Marion. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Service Master Clean of Hayes. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today, 628-6712. Lifetime Dental Care. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Bernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. Marianne, Bonnie, and the staff at Bernie's Hamburger House is at 17th and Vine in Hayes. Bacon Ryan Appraising Services, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Call Patty Bacon Ryan today. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful energy efficient and comfortable with quality products they stand behind. See them at their new location north of Hayes or online at homesteelsiding.com. Thirsties, before the game, during the game, after the game, enjoy great food and a great atmosphere at Thirsties. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurtenberger Construction. M&D Incorporated does trenching for sewer, water, electric, and gas. They also dig basements and make building pads. M&D Excavating, building the backbone of our community. Insurance Planning Incorporated, insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance Planning. IPI Financial Services and AgPro Crop Insurance. Offices in Hayes, Great Bend, and Russell. Home Oil and Supply. 24-hour card fueling. Bulk delivery of gas and fuel. Proud to support TMP and Hayes High. Serving the Hayes area since 1963. Home Oil and Supply. Hayes Chevrolet. They have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, and vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at Hayes. We're getting set for the second half. The Hayes High Indians, Liberal Redskins from Lewis Field Stadium. Time for a scoreboard update brought to you by Hayes Kalon. The green grass you won in the spring starts with spraying in the fall with Hayes Kalon. Call Kurt Viner, 623-8427 or Kirk Maska, 623-0674. Hayes High and Liberal tied at seven apiece. Wichita Heights up on Dodge City, 14-0. Garden City against Wichita South, a pair of 2-0 teams. That's 7-6 for the Buffaloes at halftime. Still with four minutes to go until half. Great bend over Wichita Northwest by the score of 34-20. McPherson up on Winfield, 34-0. Abilene on top of Andover Central, 13-0. And Marysville, 0-2. At Wamigo 2 and 0, and Wamigo trails 14 to 3 at half. 7-7 between the Indians and the Liberal Redskins. Liberal with zero yards of offense at halftime. They have a 95-yard kickoff return for a touchdown for Hayes High. A 10-play kick, a 10-play drive after the opening kickoff is their only score. Hayes High lost the ball three times on downs. Hayes High will kick off to start the second half, and here we go. Last few seconds wind down off the clock. Dustin Armbruster, Kurt David on the call tonight. Harrison on the computer for e 
for ECTV and HazePost.com. Alexis is on the camera. Logan Clark will tee it up at the 40-yard line. Kick off right to left. Do they kick off to Cyrus Dunlap, who no. went 95 yards for a touchdown in the first half? Just say no to Cyrus Dunlap. Kick <laughs> it to the far side of the field. What's the saying? Don't let Superman beat you. Logan Clark is going to line up the kick. Dunlap is lined up to the left side where he was last time. The other returner is Ty Chandler. Short pooch kick. It's going to be fumbled at the 20, picked up by Dunlap at the 16. He gets hit and driven backwards. Second consecutive hard hit against Dunlap. It was the last play of the drive for Liberal Redskins as they closed out the first half. Nice solid hit on Cyrus Dunlap, and that time Dunlap picks up the fumble or the dropped uh, re receiving Tries to run with it, and they smack him right at the 22 yard. Isaac Zimmerman, Dylan Schmidtberger with the hit, and Liberal starts with the ball at the 22-yard line. Hayes Zero I yards for Liberal in the first half. Hayes High Indian defense played spectacularly. Again, we talked about it over over the last week. From the last two weeks, the Hayes High Indian coach staff making some changes, moving guys like Freddie Haynes to, to defensive end, Dylan Flayler to defensive end. It's worked out spectacularly in this first half. And that was on 11 plays. Three in the backfield. Power eye formation. It's a fumbled play. Ball is on the ground. The Hayes High may have this football. The officials piling in to look pulling players away. Hayes High jumping around. It's Hayes High football. Never a clean exchange. And it is going to be Xavier Danderan with the re with the fumble recovery. Hayes High with the football. And now there's an injured player on the field. Flat on his back is Dylan Flayler. Freddie Haynes was in there to make that stop and help cause that fumble. But, yep, you're right, Dylan Flayler on the ground. Liberal Redskins turned the ball over three times in week one against Ulysses, five times against Guyman last week. You knew it was going to happen. You can't turn the ball over in three times one game, five the next, and not have it happen in the successive game. It took a, half time, took a whole half. But finally, the Liberal Redskins put it on the ground, and there the Hayes High Indians were there to be on top of it. Well, now Dylan Flayler, who is starting both ways for Hayes High at the defensive end position and right guard at position, is flat on his back. He was at the bottom of that pile when the fumble happened. They're looking down around his left leg, left knee, left ankle area. Dylan's been... Really having some issues this year. Sick at the beginning of the season. He's had a banged up knee as well. And so they will take a look at Dylan Flayler on the ground at the 20-yard line where Hayes High will have the football when play resumes. First play of the game of the second half, rather, for the Liberal Redskins is a two-yard loss and a fumble. Hayes High will be into the red zone when they start this drive. He's getting up. He's sitting up. May have gotten bent awkwardly. Again, he was at the bottom of the pile on that fumble. The fumble happened. All the Hayes High players on a knee you know, on this near sideline. Xavier Danderan is the one that came up with the fumble recovery. 7-7, seven, seven, 18 seconds into the second half and a stoppage for an injury after Hayes High recovers a punt. Hayes Dylan Flayler is up, but he's going to need some help getting to the sidelines. Flayler's already wearing a brace on that left knee. He's been struggling with that knee here early in the season as it is. If he's not putting any weight at all on that left leg. We'll see if he can return. Remember, Hunter Brown went off the same way back in Scott City, and he ended up returning, but... We'll keep an eye on Dylan Flayler on the sideline. Hayes High, though, has the football. They have the football at the liberal 20-yard line where they'll start this drive. Hayes High in the first half, touchdown, punt, and then three consecutive change of possession on downs. I formation for the Hayes High Indians. First and 10 from the liberal 20 after recovering a punt. Handoff goes to Colton Myers. Bounces right, cuts back to the middle of the field. And Liberal with those five linebackers, they're trying to get outside and contain. And they've done a pretty good job of that tonight, not letting Hayes High get to the edge. A three, maybe only two-yard gain on first down for Hayes High. And it's down to the 18-yard line. Hayes High in the first quarter going in the same direction. We talked about Hayes High attacking the far side or the right side of the line of scrimmage. That's what they do on first down. They're now with the ball at about the 17, 18-yard line. And so second down and eight. 
split wide receivers for Brown. Seven all. Hand off Myers again. Tries to bounce to the outside. He gets a stiff arm to get to the 15 and then hit out of bounds at the 14-yard line. One of the rare times Hayes High gets to the outside. But Hayes High right now playing a little flat after seeing one of their fellow players go down. Dylan Flaylor after a fumble recovery by Xavier Danderan. Ball to the 16-yard line after the gain of two once again. It's a key play. Keep in mind on the last three possessions, the Hayes High Indians have turned the ball over on downs. It's a third and four situation. It's a third and four, and the Hayes High Indians really need to pick up the pick up the first down on this play. Offset eye. Handoff, no keeper by Brown. Left side, tries to get to the edge. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He gets inside the 5, down to the 3-yard line. First down on the quarterback. Keep left side. Hayes High converts for just the fourth time on third down. And coming off the field injured is Tyreek Chandler. He may have sprained his ankle, trying to keep all the pressure off his left ankle. And so Hayes High now trying to punch one in from 3 yards out after converting on an 11-yard run by Hunter Brown. That was Hunter Brown just a sprint. It was just a race to see who could get outside the fast as Hunter Brown got out there, but he really exposed himself. He was wide open for a big hit and survived well. First and goal from the three. Turn and hand off to Myers. Myers tests the right side into the end zone. Touchdown Hayes High Indians. They start the second half like they started the first half. They punch one into the north end zone and the Indians lead 13 to 7 with 10.32 to go in the third quarter. Well, they punch it in. That's the similarity between the first drive. First drive a lot more longer play. That time the Liberal Reds can set that play up for the Hayes High Indians by fumbling the ball on their own 20-yard line. It'll be Logan Clark in to attempt the extra point. Snap back to Myers. He fumbles the snap, gets up with it, loses it again, and it's 13-7. Kick never got away. Bad snap. Bad snap back to the holder. And so 13-7 is where the score remains after the three-yard Colton Myers touchdown run. It's his second touchdown rush this season and for Colton number three in his career. I'll tell you what, a successful scoring drive set up by a liberal redskin fumble, but boy, what a costly six points that was as Dylan Flailer's on the sideline now getting looked at by the, the medical staff, take, still taking a look at that leg. Yep, down around the left knee, they've got the, the brace peeled down and taking a look at his left knee. Hayes High Indian football brought to you by Kerner Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, Thomas Moore Prep Marion, Carpet One of Hayes, Vitsum Decorating Center. Great bend and an absolute shootout tonight with Wichita Northwest. That game is now just getting to halftime. It is 41-27 Great Bend at half. Half. Hayes High held Great Bend to 35 points for the game. Hayes High now up 13 to 7, just over a minute and a half into the third quarter. Logan Clark to kick it away. Dunlap now steps up to about the 15-yard line for this kickoff. It's a short pooch. Dunlap's going to let it bounce. It almost bounces between his legs. Picks it up. Gets to the 30. 35. Flag on the play as the ball goes to the 35-yard line. Two flags come in on the play. So Dunlap's still getting a chance to return, but it keeps bouncing in, and it slows down his return. Holding Liberal will uh, take the return back to the 20... Now make that the 19-yard line. Tell you what, if they're just going to let Dunlap try to run this ball back, just do an onside kick. You know they got again, you got the block in the back, so that's going to back the, the Liberal Redskins back up to the 19-yard line. But Liberal with negative two yards of offense. Their only play of the second half was a fumble. They've only run 12 plays in the game. Tyrese Hill in at the defensive end position now for the injured Dylan Flaylor. Shane Barons, Freddie Haynes, Connor Winter on the defensive line. Alvarado under center, three in the backfield and an offset power eye formation. It's a handoff. It's going to go to Bursiaga, makes the first man miss, and then Colin Kreitzer's there to make the initial contact. And then Colton Myers comes in to help finish him off. It's a gain to the near 19-yard line, gain of five for Bursiaga. Tyrese Hill coming in there, the defensive end doing a great job of making sure that ball didn't go to the outside, pushing the ball back to the center of the field. We're told that Cyrus Dunlap, the freshman with the kickoff return for a touchdown, was going to start at the running back position, but we've only seen him back there for two plays. 
And that was at the end of the first half. 13-7, Hayes High after a fumble recovery by Xavier Danderand. Indians punched it in four plays later, but the extra point, the snap was botched. Again, that offset power eye formation. Bersiaga is the setback. Alvarado under center. It's a turn and handoff to Bersiaga. And Shane Barons eliminates that run at the line of scrimmage. Bersiaga falls forward across the 25 to the 26. This is the best drive for Liberal in the terms of yards tonight. As Ty Chandler tries to come back on the field. He was hobbling off the field earlier. He's trying to come back on. Coach says no. Third down and three for Liberal. They're 0 for 3 tonight. Bersiaga picks up two on that play, has five carries for 10 yards. Indian defense allowing 43% conversion rate on third down. Ball in the middle of the field, left to right. Again, that offset power eye formation in the backfield. Alvarado under center, third down, wants to throw. Over the middle, it is caught by Workman, and he gets up to the 35-yard line. First, first down of the game for the Redskins. Liberal Redskins took advantage of a Hayes High Indian defense that was cheating up, showing blitz threw a quick pass right over the middle of the field where no linebackers were present. Hayes High Indians had six men on the line of scrimmage and two linebackers who were within one yard playing blitz. So eight out of 11 players within one to two yards of the line of scrimmage. Liberal Redskins read it and took advantage of it. It's a nine-yard gain on Chris Workman's third reception this season, which leads Liberal. They've only thrown eight times in two games. Alvarado hands off left side. Bursiaga, and again he gets taken under. And now the... Did the ball come free, or did Bursiaga stay on his feet? He stayed on his feet. That's Freddie Haynes in the backfield who's going to get the initial hits. Connor Winter, Shane Barnes, Colton Myers, Tri Tyrese Hill all in there to help make the tackle in the backfield and a loss of uh, two yards. That's nice to see. The Hayes Indians give up their first first down for the Liberal Redskins, and they come back with a tackle for loss of two yards. Freddie Haynes going to get a tackle for loss on that one. Second down and 12 back at the... 33 yard line now it's a keeper by Alvarado and he gets stood up and dropped Xavier Danderan is there Connor Winters there it's a gain for Alvarado still a yard short of the first down marker at the, or, uh, of, of the original line of scrimmage at the 35 third and 11 defensive linemen are taking up the offensive linemen they're sucking up those offensive linemen that's leaving gaps and great pursuit tonight by the linebackers in the secondary to fill up those holes and stop those plays at the line of scrimmage third and 11 for liberal hayes high up 13 7 ty chandler comes back into the game at that z-back formation he usually lines up at a wing back but he was hobbling when he was coming in he'll be the wing back to the right side this time cyrus dunlap is going to be the tailback this time and flag on the play no time on the clock, that's a delay a game on the Liberal Redskins. It's their fifth penalty of the night and makes it now third down and 16. You'd imagine Liberal will go to the air here in a 13-7 game with 7.20 to go in this third quarter. He's high scored on the first drive of the half after picking up a Liberal fumble. Indian scored four plays later on a three-yard run by Colton Myers, his second touchdown rush of the year. Both Colton Myers and Hunter Brown getting near 100 yards. So the ball back to the 30-yard line, three in the backfield, one wide receiver to the right side, Ty Johnson. Alvarado looks that way, throws deep. It's intercepted. It's no, that is taken away by the receiver, Johnson. He has a first down at the, Liber at the Hayes High 30-yard line. Kreitzer had it, and then Liberals... Ty Johnson just ripped it out of his hands and takes it to the 30. First down liberal for the first time they are in Hayes High territory at the 30. A 40-yard pass. Now the officials are going to converse, and it is a first down for the liberal Redskins. Kreitzer read the ball perfectly. Alvarado's thrown two interceptions already on the season, so... Kreitzer doing the right thing, looking for the interception. He had the interception in his hand, but you're right. The receiver for the Liberal Redskins just ripped it out of his hands and then picked up an additional five yards. You could almost call it an interception and then a fumble. Kreitzer had it for almost that long. Now a late guy running onto the field for Liberal. First and 10 from the Hayes High, 30 after the 40-yard pass. Toss left side for Bursiaga. That play is not going to work. Hayes High is just sniffing out the run for Liberal tonight. There's Xavier Danderan, also... Freddie Haynes in the backfields. It'll be a loss of four on the play. 
You're right. The Hayside Indians have shown they can shut down the play up the middle, and they can shut it down around in. They're playing quality run protection defense. Dan Duran, a half tackle for loss. Freddie Haynes now another half tackle for a loss and whistles. And it's an official timeout. We got an equipment problem on the uh, defensive tackle. I'm sorry, offensive tackle for the Liberal Reds. Apparently it's been fixed. Back to the 34-yard line for Liberal. It's Alvarado rolling out to his right, wanting to pass, looking down the field. It is caught. It is going to be hauled in by Zach Mansell past the original line of scrimmage and up to the 27-yard line. Shane Barons and Freddie Haynes tra tracking Jesse, Jesse Alvarado down, but he did get the ball off. But enough protection there in the secondary that no pickup after the four-yard reception. Alvarado's three for three in the second half, including that unbelievable catch, ripping it away from an interception. It'll be third down and seven. Liberals converted on two third downs on this drive. Alvarado looks over the middle, wide open receiver, and then running the wrong way was the Liberal Redskins receiver. The Liberal Redskins ran, ran from first down area two yards back up the field. Ty Chandler then puts his hel hand on his helmet and can't believe what he just did. He caught the ball and then ran the wrong way about three yards before he was tackled. Now fourth down and three. It cost, it cost the Liberal Redskins a first down. So it's a gain of four on one of the more bizarre plays you'll see. So Ty Chandler and Zach Mansell on this drive have their first completion or first receptions of the year. Fourth and three. Alvarado under center. Hayside nearly jumps and they do. And they do. That's going to be a first down for the Liberal Reds. We saw it three times last week against the Great Bend Panthers. One of the keys to the game was don't be stupid. And the Hayside Indians were just stupid on that play. After the hay after the after the Liberal Redskins gave the Hayes High Indians a gift by running the wrong direction and coming up three yards short of the first down. And so first and ten for Liberal. Boy, that forty yard pass that Hayes High looked like they had an interception is just eating up this defense right now. First and 10 from the red zone. Toss right side for Bursiaga. Bursiaga is going to get to the 20 and then take. Oh, he's going to slip two tackles. And he's going to get to the 16-yard line. Now the ball's on the ground. Hayes High has it. The whistle's blow. The whistle had not blown. And then after the ball is on the ground and Kreitzer has it running the other way, that's when the whistle comes out at the 16-yard line, gain of two for Bursiaga. But that's what the Hayes High Indians need to do. They need to pursue the ball and hit hard because we've talked about it so many times. This liberal redskin offense will turn the ball over, and they've already done it once tonight. Almost did it twice with the inter interception by Kreitzer. This drive is about as crazy as you can get right now. And Hayes High, after looking like they had an interception, Ty Johnson on third and 16 took it away from the defense for a 40-yard gain. This drive's now lasted over six minutes. Liberals in the red zone. They're tied in wailing to the left. Play clock down to four. Alvarado under center. He's going to turn. Hand off to Bursiaga. Tries to get to the side. Gets past the initial surge and gets inside. Oh, right on the 10-yard line. Colton Myers, Keaton Markley with the tackle. Third and two for the Redskins. This, this drive started back on the Hayes High Indian 19, I'm sorry, Liberal Redskin, Liberal Redskin 19-yard line. They've moved it all the way down the field in 11 plays. Consumed now going close to seven minutes. They've converted twice on third down and then got Hayes High to jump on fourth down and three. And that's where the coaches talked about. Talk to each other on the field. Remind everybody of the situation. Third down and two from the... 10-yard line of Hayes High. Liberal down by six. Alvarado under center. Long snap count. Hayes High holding. Does Liberal snap the play? They don't. Timeout Redskins. But there's a flag. They, did they get the timeout well, they're called? Gonna the they're going to give them the timeout. The official on the far side overrules the back judge and says a timeout was called. Indian coaching staff not happy about that at all. 3.38 to go in the third quarter. Well, you hope right now that the Hayes High extra point that they botched does not come back to haunt them leading by six 13 to seven indian football brought to you by thirsties paul wartenberger construction service master clean of Hayes and master cleaners well here we go 
Big moment of the game. Liberal, after having negative yards after their first drive of the second half, is marching. Yeah, they've brought it 80 yards up the field so far in 11 plays, but half of that, half of that drive on one pass play that really could have been interception for the Hayes High Indians. In fact, it was an interception, and the ball still not taken away. Well, and depends on the score in the in the in the booth. If it's going to be an interception and a fumble or in a run, or I think for everybody involved, it's going to be a catch. It's a little easier to stat that way, I imagine. So that offset power eye formation. Bursiaga is going to be the setback. Two fullbacks in front of him. Third down and two. Handoff goes to Mansell, straight up the middle. First down, Liberal. Dandoran with the tackle, but that's the first time that the fullback, second time, excuse me, the fullback has touched the ball. On second, on third and two, they pick up three yards. And that time, that not right now, right now, the Liberal Redskin offensive line is controlling the line of scrimmage, and they just powered the ball up the middle on that particular play. Ball down to the six, so call it a gain of four on the play. Well, Hayes High needs to find some fire. Dylan Flaylor, ice pack on his left knee, down on the sideline, he's done. And for how long, we don't know. First and goal from the six. Turn and hand off Bursiaga. He cuts back, finds the end zone. Hayes High is tied with Liberal now, and the Redskins can take the lead on an extra point. Boy, the Liberal, the Hayes High defensive line staying low and staying with their blockers, but that time the Hayes High Indian secondary and linebackers not able to fill that gap, allowing the touchdown by the Liberal Redskins. Bursiaga, six-yard run. Hayes High is an extra point away from trailing in this game. 13 plays and 81 yards after zero offensive production in total are in the first half. Well, the frustration starting to rise for everybody for Hayes High. The extra point is on the way. It is going to be good, and the Hayes High Indians trail liberal 14-13 with 3.08 to go in the third quarter. Hayes High has to regroup and do it in a hurry. Well, you talk about how uh, you talk about how that one, that point after touchdown and the bad snap there could make a difference in the game, and it's not going to come down to that. It, it, this this one point game right now is all about those three consecutive turnover on down drives that the Hayes High Indian offense had had a scoring drive on their first possession of the game, and then three consecutive times moving the ball 32 yards, 33 yards, then 40 yards, but ultimately turning the ball over on downs and not getting points on the board. That's the difference in the game now, not the missed uh, point after touchdown attempt. And again, a long drive there by the Liberal Redskins, 81 yards down the field, but let's not forget 40 of that on one particular fluke pass play that very easily could have been an interception. So at this point, Talk about the Hayes High Indian defense needing to regroup. They need to regroup. They've lost Dylan Flaylor, who was a key part of that defensive line. They've got to figure out a way to fill in for him and make those adjustments. But, you know, offensively, let's not remember the Hayes High Indians scored on their last drive. They got it on the 20-yard line, but they did get into the end zone. Bursiaga to kick off. Indians are expecting a short kick, so Sennett and Dandoran at the 18-yard line. Addressing the ball, Cesar Bursiaga just scored. He's going to send it over the head of Dan Duran. This is going to go into the end zone, and Hayes High will have first and 10 from their own 20-yard line moving right to left. This is the worst starting field position for Hayes High in this game, starting at their own 20, 80 yards away from trying to take the lead, trailing Liberal 14-13. And again, for those of you watching football last night, watching the Buffalo game and the Jets game, in high school, when it's a touchback, you still get the ball on the 20, not on the 25-yard line like the NFL. Some rules that high school football across the nation needs to catch up with, but that's a conversation for another time. First and 10 for Hayes High, 308 to go third quarter, right to left, I formation, split wide receivers for Hunter Brown under center. Turn and handoff. It's going to, oh, going to be a keeper by Hunter Brown. Brown. Gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Boy, and Liberal has all the momentum, and their kids are playing with it right now. I'll tell you what, though. Here's the guy who's back in there, and the Hayes High Indian coaching staff needs to recognize that it's Jesse Navarrete. He's the 255-pound senior. He's playing nose tackle, and Trey Van Pelt controlled him the entire first half of the game. If they're not running in his direction right now, you got to ask why. 
Ball at the right hash. Two wide receivers left, two to the right. Maybe that's what Hayes Hyde does here out of the shotgun. Colton Myers to the right of Hunter Brown. Man in motion is Markley. It's going to be a handoff to Keaton. Test the right side, 20. Puts his head down and gets taken down by Elwin Treo. Indians are going to face a long third down. It'll be third and eight after the two-yard run. Well, now it's third and eight. We talk about those turnover on down positions. Putting yourself in a difficult third and long position does not make driving the ball easy. Well, here we go. Three wide receivers left, one to the right. And in the shotgun is going to be Hunter Brown. It's Brown on a keeper straight up the middle. He gets Whoa. to the right side, 30, 35, and gets the first down. Boy, Hayes, I spread out the offense and then goes straight up the gut. Brown was almost going to be tackled about two yards short, but then just bounces to the right side, gets up to the 37-yard line, a gain of 15. Brilliant. It's magic, folks. Let Trey Van Pelt take care of Jesse Navarrete and stuff the ball up the middle. 100 yards now. It's, for it's not magic. It's, it's not magic. 100 yards now for the Hayes High Indians, and Shane Barron's being worked on on the sideline, getting his right ankle and knee looked at. Also, the Hayes High Indians down another starter. Four wide receivers. Brown with first and ten puts this time Sheevy in motion. Keeper by Brown. Met in the backfield. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe. Elwin Treo, who is having himself a game. You know, Elwin Treo started out at that nose tackle position, and Trey Van Pelt was taking care of him, but they have sent moves him out to a defensive tackle position. Been much more effective, been much more relevant player in this game since they've moved him out to the defensive tackle position. It is the right ankle they're looking at for Shane Barron's. Hayes High with 50 seconds to go, third quarter, down a point. Three wide receivers left, one to the right. Mason Ibarra comes in at that position where Barron's was. Here's a screen play, left side by William Sinnott. Sinnott makes the catch and then almost fumbles the football. No gain on the screen play to the left side of the field. Hayes High likely have to run one more play before the end of the third quarter on third and nine it's a gain of two on the first catch by William Sennett Col I will not need to take will not need to run a play if they do not want to Colin Kreitzer had to block two guys on that play Derek Simmons and Jose Aguilera just couldn't get it accomplished and that's what uh, caused that ball to, that play to only pick up one yard he's is going to let this go to the fourth quarter 14 13 Indians are down by a point Going to the final 12 minutes of the game, this is Hayes High Indian Football. Most exciting yards in football. It's NFL Red Zone from NFL Network. Get every touchdown from every game, every Sunday afternoon. And football doesn't stop on NFL Network. It goes all week. We're covering it like crazy. Get NFL Red Zone from NFL Network today. At NFL Red Zone so you can watch all the game-defining yards in football. Call us at 877-61-EAGLE today. We get set for the fourth quarter. Hayes High down by a point to the Liberal Redskins. 14-13 is the Redskins playing with all the momentum. Hayes High has the football. Third down and nine, moving left to right. Three wide receivers to the right side. Brown's going to roll to his right. Look down the field. Now throw down the field. It is caught by Mason Ibarra for a first down at the 49. What a catch by Mason Ibarra, and Hayes High has the first down at the 49 on a gain of 13 yards. How often do you see receivers on a third and eight or a third and nine run a seven yard pass pattern? You see it so many times. Ibarra that time goes 10 yards on his pass pattern to pick up the first down. It's his first catch in his first action on offense of the season. Two wide receivers left. Two to the right, Markley in motion left to right. Brown slaps his hands. He's going to keep the ball himself. Up the middle, taken down at the 49-yard line of Liberal. Nice open field tackle made by Jose Aguilera. 
Gain of two on the play by Brown. Great open field. That was a tr nice try on a fake by Hunter Brown, but Aguilera picked up that fake well. And it was right there at the line of scrimmage, although Brown picked up two yards on the play. Brown four for nine through the air in his last two re last two completions are his only two pass attempts of the second half. Ibarra wide receiver to the right with Sheevy to the left, Kreitzer and Markley. Myers in the backfield along with Brown in the shotgun on second down and about eight. It's a keeper by Brown again. Test the right side. He's going to get to the liberal 46-yard line on a gain of just three. It'll be third down and five for the Indians who are three for three in the second half on third down. Okay, it's going to be th yeah, third and five. That time the D offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage. Nobody picked up but a block, though, against a linebacker in the secondary. Therefore, unable to pick up much extra yardage. 20 carries, 104 yards for Brown. Whistles, whistles, more whistles. And now more whistles tell the clock to go. All right. So third down and five. Indians at the liberal 46-yard line. They've converted on third down and nine on a 13-yard pass to Mason Ibarra. He splits to the right with Sheevy. Two wide receivers left. Kreitzer. And Markley, shotgun formation on this third down play. Wanting to throw is Brown. He's under some pressure, throws down the field. Caught by Ibarra, dots the sideline, and that's a first down. Mason Ibarra with the completed pass. He'll be taken down at the liberal 38-yard line. Great protection for Hunter Brown, and then Ibarra stretches out on one leg, reaches up, really kind of a tiptoe catch, but brings the ball in for the first down. Ibarra's second catch for a first down. Got 13 when they needed nine, gets eight when they needed five. You gotta be ready when your number's called, right? That's what Mason Ibarra has done. He splits to the right side. Three wide receivers to the left, including William Sinnott. First down and 10 for the Indians, down by a point in the fourth quarter to Liberal. Snap, back to Brown. Brown keeps right side, 35. Gets hit, spins backwards, 30-yard line, stays on his feet, and he's going to go down at the 29-yard line. Gain of eight by Hunter Brown. Little things, gain of, gain, of, gain of eight, but picked up two extra yards, three extra yards after being after that initial hit. It's those little things. Hayside driving, trying to regain the lead. This is only their second drive of the second half. Four plays and a touchdown after a Xavier Danderan fumble recovery gave Hayes High a lead, but a botched snap on an extra point gave him only six. Liberal scored 12 plays later, over six and a half minutes. Indians from the 29, putting Markley in motion. Keeper by Brown, up the middle, first down, lowers the shoulder, and picks up about four yards. Marcel Monterey picks up the tackle, one of the leading tacklers in the WAC, the leading tackler on the team. It's a play to the 26-yard line a and a gain down. of three yards. And a first down. Hayes High Indians keep the line moving. See keep what Liberal's doing defensively. That time they fake to Markley. Markley comes out to the right side. That draws out the linebacker and, a, and an aisle up the middle. Now Mason Ibarra out of the game. Shane Barron's returns for first and 10 from the 26-yard line. Boy, he only played about eight plays, but is Mason Ibarra your player of the game right now? It's going to be Sheevy in motion. Hand off to Wyatt. Left side 25. He's at the 20. He's tackled from behind on Wyatt Sheevy's eight-yard run to the left side. Well, Trey Van Pelt has successfully knocked Navarrete out of the game again. It happened in the fir first half where win came in for Navarrete. Trey Van Pelt's done it again. And that time, hey, Trey Van Pelt still controlling the middle of the line of scrimmage. Indians down a point. Nine minutes to go. Fourth quarter. They've had the ball for the entirety of the fourth quarter. Now have it at the 18-yard line after the Wyatt Sheevy eight-yard run. One wide receiver left. There's two in the backfield with quarterback Hunter Brown. Handoff, Colton Myers gets spun around, gets tackled by the headgear and driven backwards. He's going to come up just short of the first down, needed two. They'll give him one, third and one for the Indians, who are four for four on third down in the second half. Yeah, but how much nicer is it to have a third and one instead of a third and eight or a third and nine? Here Oop. Here comes Wyatt Sheevy into the game, bringing the play in. Indian football brought to you by Lifetime Dental Care. Insurance planning, home oil and supply, Hay Chevrolet, and M&D Incorporated. Under center for the first time on this drive on third and one is Brown. 
hands it off to Myers. Myers goes right side, gets the first down at the 15, gets to the 14, and then driven backwards. Gets the first down on a gain of three yards. Hayes High in the red zone, still marching, trying to take a lead with 8.05 to go in the game, down 14-13. Indians are five for five in the second half on third down. They were 20% on the year, five for 25. First and 10, Barron's right, Sheevy right. Shotgun formation sending Markley and Kreitzer to the left on first down and 10. Markley in motion left to right. Now they snap the ball. It's a keeper, Brown. Brown hurdles over a defender, gets to the 10. It's a gain of four on the 23rd carry on the night by Hunter Brown for 119 yards. Hey, you said it with Mason Ibarra. Be ready when your time is called. Conrad Viner's doing a great job in there in the left guard position, picking up for Dylan Flaler, who got knocked out of the game during the first half. Ball at the 10. Here comes William Sinnott with the play. Seven and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Hayes High's had this ball for the entirety of the fourth quarter so far. Two wide receivers left, one to the right, two in the backfield, out of the shotgun for Brown. It's going to be a keeper by Brown. Tries to squirt between the guard and the center and then gets body slammed as he gets to the nine. Short gain on the play of just a yard. <laughs> Third down and about five for Hayes High. Well, that time the Liberal Redskins linebackers had had about enough of the Hayes High Indians stuffing up in the middle of the line of scrimmage. They just stacked the middle of the line and all of them blitzed to break up that play. Third and five in the red zone. This is interesting play. Hayes High is down a point. Their kicker, Logan Clark, has hit from 20 this year. He can kick from further than that, but they prefer right now to have a first down. First down marker sits at the four-yard line. Brown on third and five. Puts a man in motion. Keeps it himself. Fumbles, fumbles the football. Liberal has the ball. Hunter Brown Recovered was trying by to... Marcel Monterey. Hunter Brown was trying to fake the handoff on that end around play. We've seen it before and then go up the middle, but somehow that fake handoff ended up getting bobbled and puts the ball on the ground. So after 16 plays, moving the ball 70 yards down the field. The Hayes High Indians put the ball on the ground and put it back into the Liberal Redskins' hands, who are up by one point with six minutes and 27 seconds left, backed up on their own nine-yard line. Well, Hayes High defense going to have to get back to that stopping on three and out. That's the first time Hayes High has not scored in the red zone this year. Liberal with the ball at nine. The last time they had the ball, they went 13 plays over six and a half minutes. Liberal with the ball at their nine. Handoff Bursiaga gets taken down in the backfield. That is going to be Xavier Danderan who reads the play back at the eight for a loss of one. All right. Hayes High Indians are down by one point with six minutes and 14 seconds left. They've got the ball deep into the Liberal Redskin territory. They need to hold them here on second and 11. Liberal going to take all the time they can. Hayes High with their full complement of timeouts. Still 15 on the play clock by the time Liberal even runs the play in. They have been called for one delay of game in the contest, and they had to use a timeout to avoid another. Play clock down to eight when they break the huddle. Liberal sprinting up to the line with five. Alvarado under center with three. Takes the snap with two. Nearly fumbled it. Keeps it. Gets tackled at the six-yard line. There's Connor Winter on the play. Also coming in is going to be... Dylan Schmidtberger, Connor Winter, the first on the scene. Third down and long for Liberal. And now it's third down and long. Can't give up a big play here. The Hayes High Indians have got the Liberal Redskins deep. They need to go back to where they hold the Liberal Redskins to three and out positions like they did so many times in the first half. Ball back at the seven. Liberal went to the air on several third downs. Indies need to be ready. One wide receiver to the right. Liberal from their own seven. Third down and 12, leading by a point with five minutes to go fourth quarter. Hayes High just fumbled in the red zone on third down and five with a chance to take the lead. Alvarado is going to end around to Tyreek Chandler. Makes one man miss, two guys miss. He's going to get a first down up the right sideline at the 20. Hayes High had him dead to rights back at the goal line, and he's going to run 20 yards after running backwards, seven yards. Hayes High Indian secondary back deep, trying to cover the long pass play and not able to get up soon enough to cover, cover that run that got past the line of scrimmage. Third and 12, and Ty Chandler goes 17 yards out to the 21-yard line. Make it, four make it 14 yards. Four minutes and 43 seconds left. Liberal Redskins have the ball on their own 21-yard line, up by 1.14 to 13. 
They've gone just one win in their last 28 Western Athletic Conference games. That offset power eye formation, Alvarado keeps, gets slung down to the turf on a next to nothing game. It's going to be Tyrese Hill on the tackle. Liberal gains a yard, maybe two, four and a half to go. Hayes High had a huge opportunity to get the football back with plenty of time, but now the ball out to the 23-yard line on the keeper by Alvarado. Liberal Redskins certainly not playing hurry up here with four minutes and 15 seconds left. Hayes High Indians has their full allotment of a timeouts left. A little early to be thinking about using those, but don't forget you've got them. Hayes High had plenty of chances to extend that lead in the first half, but three change of possessions on downs. Alvarado will go under center with two, take the snap with one, hand off to the fullback. That is Jose Aguilera, who got bumped from the starting lineup, but he's going to get the ball out across the 25, timeout Hayes High for this upcoming third down play. That's third and five, so the Liberal Redskins can mix this ball up. They've got the pass opportunity, quick pass over the middle, which is where they've been successful on their passes except for the long 40-yard pass drive that early there in the third quarter. They can also run the ball around end like they did last time. So the Hayes High Indian defense has got to be prepared for everything on this third down and six. Indian football brought to you by Walmart, Bernie's Hamburger House, Commercial Builders, Bacon Ryan Appraising Services, and World of Wheels. 3.46 to go in the game. Hayes High down 14-13. Missed opportunities of the first half and a missed, or I should say botched snap and hold on an extra point in the second half, looming large for the Indians right now. They had Liberal backed up to their own seven on third and 12. How about the conversions tonight for Liberal? Third and 16, a 40-yard pass. Third and 12, a 14-yard run where they had Ty Chandler locked up at the end line. They nearly had a safety for the lead. Hayes High needs the ball. They use their first timeout. The clock is reset to 3.50. Indians need a stop on this third down play. Third down and five. Liberal 0 for 3 in the first half on third down. 4 for 5 in the second half. Alvarado toss right side for Bursiaga. He got ahead of steam at the 30. He's going to have a first down at the 35. Second consecutive play. The Liberal Redskins have gotten a first down attacking the perimeter on the far side of the field. Not choosing to go up the middle. They're trying to take advantage of that far outside line. Needed five, got seven. 3.44 to go in the contest. Hayes high down 14-13. They have got to get this football back. Liberal twice converting on third down in this drive. On third down and 12 and third down and five. Logan Schulte coming in. We saw him coming in last week for the Hayes High Indians. Now in for Tyrese Hill on that line of scrimmage. Indians see the clock tick inside 330. And now all kinds of confusion. The play clock never started. The clock was running. So now they're going to need to put time back on the clock here or let the play clock run down one of the two. And so they'll radio up to the booth to let everybody know up top what needs to be changed. There's 3.26 on the clock now. The play clock, though, never started. So Liberal was just going to let however much time run off the clock as necessary. Hayes High had the ball inside of the 10-yard line, or was trying to get inside the 10 for the first down, and fumbled the ball on third and five. Play sure. clock or The game clock reset to 3.44. Freddie Haynes back in at the defensive end next to Logan Schulte. Liberal with one offensive touchdown and a 95-yard kickoff return for a score. Ace High with two touchdown runs. Play clock down to 10. Alvarado doesn't set the line yet. Now he does. Comes under center with five. Takes the snap. Turn and hand off to the fullback. That's a handoff to Bursiaga, who was close to the line that time. And he gets driven backwards for a loss. Goes nowhere that Hayes High Indians are going to use their second timeout. Freddie Haynes in on the tackle. It'll be second and 12 after the two-yard loss. Hayes High Indians are down by one point, and Dustin, you've mentioned it a couple times. There's going to be so much focused on that bobbled snap on the point after attempt conversion. 
but you can't tell me when you've got three possessions that are turnover on downs and you've got a fourth one here in the fourth quarter that goes 79 yards down the field and ends in a fumble. It's not that bobble snap that's in the difference of the game. It's in an offense that couldn't get it over for that first down when they needed to on drives where they were really moving the ball. 187 yards in the first half, but just seven points. Indian football brought to you by Whiskey Creek. Home Steel Siding and Windows, APAC, Redeem Designs, James Motor Company, and Eagle Communications. Indians with a single timeout left. They stop the clock on second and 12. Liberal from their own 33-yard line. A drive that started back at their nine, went back to the eight, went back to the seven on the first two plays, but then on third and 12, it was Ty Chandler running 14 yards after getting bottled up back at the two. After the timeout by Hayes High, Liberal from the 33. It's a toss right side for Bersiaga again. He gets hit, bounces off the tackle. He's going to have a first down and more. And there is Bersiaga up go the, to the far sideline. Indians would be better off to let him score, and he will. Unbelievable. Third 67 yards for Bersiaga. Third consecutive time around the far side of the line of scrimmage that the, the Liberal Redskins were able to take advantage of the perimeter and bad coverage to the exterior. That time costing them what may have been the game for a 60-yard touchdown that takes the Liberal Redskins up to now 20 to 13 with 304 left on the clock. You know, this would be interesting. Does Liberal go for one or two here? Two, they put the game out of reach. One, Hayes High can score a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Colton Myers laid a hit on Bursiaga, but he spun off of it. Now he has to attempt the extra points. Hayes High was eight yards from taking the lead. They couldn't do it, though, on a fumble on third and five. Bursiaga to attempt the extra point for an eight-point lead. High snap kick is on the way. It is good. It's an eight-point lead for Liberal, 21-13, with 3.04 to go in the game. Kurt David, Hayes High has a single timeout left. They only have one timeout left, but 3.04 on the clock. The Hayes High Indians have been able to move the ball Last time stalled by just a fumble, caused by a mistake, a bad fake handoff of all things. A fake handoff that was a handoff that was just supposed to be a fake from Hunter Brown on the end around got bobbled, and that's what caused the fumble. It's a little mistake like that because it caused a big outcome. Hayes High Indians have moved the ball, though, and there's no reason in three minutes they can't have something positive happen. Well, it's time to regroup. We talked in the pregame show with Randall Rath and talked about how... It's a mental game for Hayes High. They have got to, first of all, cover this kick. That's first and foremost. Well, Hayes High right now just cannot fathom what is happening to them at this moment. Well, the last time we we talked about it, the last time the Hayes High Indians, uh, or when we were in Liberal, when the Hayes High Indians broke the streak and beat Liberal on a kickoff return, Casey Sedbrook. Wouldn't that be interesting if we see a repeat of that on this kickoff with three minutes left? That was after Liberal had kicked a field goal to take the lead. That started a string of seven consecutive wins by Hayes High over Liberal. William Sennett, Xavier Danderan back to return this kick. It is going to be a kick to the far sideline, and it'll roll into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And it won't take any time off the clock. Well, here we go. 3.04 to go in the game. Hayes High down 21-13. They need to go 80 yards and score a two-point conversion to tie this ball game up at Lewis Field Stadium as the Indians' first game at home, and it has not been what they were hoping for. Well, Hayes High Indians on their last possession went 70 yards. Came up 10 yards short before they fumbled the ball. This time they've got to make it the entire 80, and they've got three minutes and four seconds left to do it and only one timeout. They've protected well. The offensive line has given Hunter Brown plenty of time to throw the ball, and Shane Barons, who was getting his ankle looked at earlier, is now back in the game at the near side wideout position. It'll be that shotgun formation. It's going to be a keeper, Hunter Brown, straight up the middle, 30-yard line. Gets across the 30, or excuse me, to the 25-yard line. Hayes High needs to hustle up. That clock will run with 2.55 to go. Indians, if they can, need to get to the out-of-bounds marker. Ball up to the 27, seven-yard gain by Hunter Brown. 
third down and about three. Brown out of that shotgun takes the snap, looks to throw. He's looking down the field for Shane Barons. Barons will have it tipped out in front of him, incomplete, and Barons still hobbling with that right ankle. Boy, he is just not near 100%. Shane Barons had had that zeroed in, but Ty Johnson, Ty Johnson was the, the secondary coverage here. He just can't run as fast as Shane Barons. Shane Barons kept getting slowed down by Johnson. And so here comes Mason Ibarra into the game. Barons hurt his ankle in the third quarter and is affecting him here in the fourth. Ibarra to the right side of the field. Now the Indians with some confusion. Boy, you do not want to use a timeout here. Still 15 on the play clock. Two wide receivers right, two to the left. Brown in the shotgun with 10 on the play clock. Third down and three. Indians down by eight in the fourth quarter. Man in motion is Sheevy. It's Brown following Sheevy. Left side, nowhere to run. Cuts it back. Dives. Does he get to the first down? No. It's going to be about a Needed half three, short. got two. Hayes High's got to get up to the ball and get this first down if they want a chance in this ball game. 2.20 and counting. Hayes High with a single timeout left. And it's fourth down and one. Hayes High is 0 for 3 on fourth down tonight. This is the ball at the 29-yard line. If Hayes High can't get this, this is the ball game. Shotgun formation for Brown. Myers to his right. Hunter will take the snap. He'll keep it to himself on the right side. Boy, this is close. The official runs in on the 30. This should be a first down. Yeah, he's got his he's got his foot beyond the 30-yard line, and they're signaling first down. Man, but I tell takes, you what. It takes now down to a minute 54. It took the Indians a minute and 10 seconds to get 10 yards. You got to go faster than that with one timeout remaining. Clock winds with 154. Brown takes the snap, looks left, goes to the right. It is caught over on the far side by the Indians. Colin Kreitzer goes out of bounds across the 35-yard line up to the 38-yard line and gets out of bounds. Colin Kreitzer fought for one more yard up the field, but more importantly, three yards towards the out-of-bounds line, and he made those three yards to get out of bounds and stop the clock. It's Kreitzer's first catch of the game after going for six receptions, 128 yards, and two touchdowns this year. And now the official coming to the near side. He's going to chat with the near side official. And he's looking for somebody on the sideline. Well, this could be interesting. 143 to go in the game. Now the lead official running down to coach Chris, or to a uh, well, former coach, at now athletic director Chris Michaelis. They want more time on the clock? I think they want to take time off the clock. I don't know that it got started right away. Okay, so they're moving so it, to it down to 138. So it took five seconds off the clock. So second down and about two after the eight-yard catch by Kreitzer. Brown will take the shotgun snap. He's going to throw again. Look over the middle. It is caught by Keaton Markley at the 40. Taken down inside of liberal territory at the 39-yard line. Markley got behind the defense, and Kreitzer and uh, Brown found him. Okay, Brown comes up to the line of scrimmage, obviously in a formation to spike the ball. A 23-yard gain for the Hayes High Indians, and they do spike the ball to stop the clock with 129 remaining, one timeout in the pocket of the Hayes High Indians. Nice pass play again. The Hayes High offensive line doing a terrific job of pass protection tonight for Hunter Brown. Hunter Brown tonight, seven completions on now officially 14 attempts because of the spike, but he's completed passes to six different receivers. Ball's at the 39. Indies need a score, and they need a two-point conversion. Two wide receivers right, to the left, Brown in the shotgun. He's going to take the snap, step back to throw. He's looking left side. Now he has to scramble, rolls out to his right. Looking, looking, throwing down the field. It is incomplete. Had Wyatt Sheevy open, but couldn't get it to him. Third and 10 on the incomplete pass. That's all right. There was a good initial protection by the offensive line, but... Eventually, uh, just in pursuit on Hunter Brown, and he did the right thing to throw that thing deep. Would have been a remarkable catch, but more importantly, uh, didn't get sacked and stopped the clock with an, with an incomplete pass. And that pressure came with only three rushers. 21-13, Indians down eight with a minute 21 to go in the game. Third and 10, Hayes High in the second half has converted on 
five of seven opportunities. Five wide receivers. Meyer split out to the left. Nobody in the backfield with Hunter Brown. Liberal drops eight in protection. A screen pass near side, and it's an incomplete pass over the head of Keaton Markley. Indians have fourth and ten for the ball game. And it's lucky it's an incomplete pass because that was a laterally thrown ball. Could have easily have easily have been interpreted as a behind the uh, as a backwards pass, and therefore would have been a loss of yardage for the Hayes High Indians. Fourth and ten from the 39-yard line. Indians converted on fourth and one by barely getting it. Shane Barons looks like he's bringing the play in for the Hayes High Indians with 20 seconds left on the clock. Indians need to get just inside the clock, just inside the 39-yard line for a first down. One down minute, by eight. One minute and 13 seconds left. Play clock down bank. to eight. Hayes High has to hurry and get into this formation. Three wide receivers to the right. Play clock down to four, down to three, down to two. Brown will take the snap with one. Roll to his right. Look down the field. It is going to come up well short of the first down. Completed pass, but it goes out of bounds. Four yards down the field when the Indians needed ten. And that's your ball game. Liberals going to pick up their first win in the Western Athletic Conference since 2013. This oh. one's going to strike at the hearts of the Hayes High Indians. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Again, we talked about this being a must-win game for the Hayes High Indians because they face the gauntlet of their season. They jump a... I called it jumping into the deep end of the pool with Garden City, a Valley Center team who last I saw was up big on Arc City. Play Dodge, play McPherson, who's up big this week. They're going to go one and two. Hayes High Indians have got something tough to face this week as they go into four consecutive hard weeks. Well, this now timeout taken on the field. Hayes High needed 10 yards. The pass went just four yards down the field. And again, on a drive where the Hayes High Indians were moving the ball, moved the ball 40 yards. You know, in those turnover and down possessions we, we saw in the first half, they were 30 yards, they were 34 yards, they were 40 yards, this time 45 yards. And the Hayes High Indians just can't convert to keep the line moving, as the Royals say. So Liberal will line up, need to take a couple of knees, and they will pick up their first Western Athletic Conference win since 2013 when they beat Dodge City, and just their second conference win in 29 games. Liberal's going to run a play. Here's Bursiaga, goes over the middle. Indians ripping at the football at the 40. Bursiaga still on his feet for a gain of eight, nearly nine yards. It will be nine yards on the carry. 98 yards for Bursiaga. A 67-yard run for a touchdown in this fourth quarter. And honestly, that was a good thing to happen for the Indians because they got the ball back with more time. Hayes High out of timeouts. Boy, Hayes High Indian defense, defensive coaches made some, made some great changes defensively this week, moving Dylan Flaylor to the defensive end position, putting Freddie Haynes to the inside there. Losing Dylan Flaylor really costly to the Hayes High Indians on that one scoring on that on that scoring drive that caused their second touchdown ended up being a very costly touchdown. Dylan Flaylor hurt on the fumble that recovered that play give, recovered the ball for the Indians that they eventually scored on. But the Hayes High Indian defensive line clearly missed Flaylor's play at the defensive end position here in the second half as the Liberal Redskins took advantage of the perimeter on their last possession to get three young yardage plays, 160 yards for a touchdown that all took advantage of that outside part of the field. Some clock issues. So they reset the clock back to 40, four minutes, uh, 49 four, seconds. Well, I thought it was four minutes and 90 seconds. You know, which is, Hayes High would definitely like that. This is a liberal team that had zero yards of offense at halftime. And they are 45 seconds away from a victory. Yeah, they're lining up to run a play again. Alvarado's going to hand off to Bursiaga right side. Oh, that's not Bursiaga. Instead, that is uh, Zach Mansell, who will get a first down after a three-yard gain. Well, Coach Rath and his coaching staff have their work cut out for them this week. They're going to have to prepare for a Garden City team that you know is going to play tough, and the Hayes Indians are going to have to go on the road to play them.
and they've got some mental issues they've got to take care of first before they start working on schemes and technique. Yeah, that's going that's going to be the first one. Is a game that Hayes High really looked at as a a winnable ball game, a liberal team that had really struggled in their first two games, even though they won against Guyman. They turned the ball over four times. There's the knee by Alvarado, and that'll do it. Hayes High is going to fall to Liberal and fall to 1-2 and two on the season, 0-2 oh in the Western Athletic Conference. Liberal improves to 2-1. and one. They are now 1-0 oh in the Western Athletic Conference. Final score, 21-13. Indians fall by 8 to the Liberal Redskins. This has been Hayes High Indian Football.